the one you dream of every night. La seule chose qui te préoccupe, c'est la gloire. Le cheminement de la réussite. Of pushing yourself further than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. Les sacrifices que tu fais. Quand toutes les chances sont contre toi. When you can't push one more second. Chase the glory. Viseo. Sports on CBC, presented by the Championnat du Sport at Radio Canada, une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fedler. Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program. Pierre Partenaire des Prix de l'Entraîneur de l'année U Sport. Vera Burn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du Sport Universitaire depuis 1979. Baron, exclusive supplier of U-Sports Championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusif des bagues des championnats U-Sports. Maple Leaf Gardens has been home to many a crowning of champions in the past. And tonight, it's no different. It, tonight, we will crown the champion of the 2024 U-Sports Men's Hockey Championship on CBC. Curtis Coleman and Matthew Smith here to bring you tonight's final between the Patriot of UQTR and the UNB Reds. Absolutely, Curtis. This will be the sixth time these two teams will face off in the U-Sports National Tournament. UNB leading that series 4-1, to one, but they have never faced each other in the finals. If you're UQTR, Curtis, they're trying to build this national dynasty like UNB has done in this post-2010s era, but they have a tough test facing an undefeated team in UNB, you know. That nobody has ever played 30-plus games and won a championship, so UNB trying to do the unthinkable. And we look at the bracket, Curtis, number one seed and number two seed. It's only happened three times since 2014-2015 that the top two seeds have faced each other. It's a weird little stat. You would think it's more, but, you know, these two teams are trying to win glory for UNB, Curtis. You think of those teams that have come so close, New England Patriots 2007. They beat everyone and then they lose to the Giants in the Super Bowl so then they're no longer regarded, regarded as one of the best teams ever. While UNB, they're not trying to leave any doubters around. They're trying to win their second straight U Sports National Tournament. Complete the perfect season and cement their legacy as the best U Sports team ever. And we take a look at the season stack. Some really insane numbers for the Reds this season, including that 35% power play, power play clip and the fourth greatest goal differential in U Sports history. The three above them didn't win the championship. It's weird, Curtis. The number one seed, they have not fared well, as my, some might imagine, in the finals. You know, only since 2014, 2015, the number one seed has only won one national championship, uh, which was the Alberta Golden Bears. So UMB trying to break these curses that are tied with the number one seed, but like you saw in the stats, their special teams have been incredible. On top of the great play from Richard and their five on five even straight. But for UQTR, you know, they fared well this season, and we'll take a look at the players. Yeah, a couple of players that have been huge this tournament. Jason Wilms, the captain of the Reds, and Simon Lafrance, perhaps the best player of the tournament so far. Seven points. Yeah, in my opinion, he's the MVP, Curtis. But Jason Williams, 34 points in the season. One of those secondary scores. It's crazy to have a secondary, a deemed a secondary score. Uh, that goes to show how deep this team is. Yeah, and we will be back very shortly with the championship final. You don't want to miss this. You're watching U Sports on CBC.
hit point and celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline. Our passionate team unlocks a world of possibilities with digital broadcasting made simple, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. Proudly Canadian, ISI Live, be there. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. Welcome back to the finals of U Sports Men's Hockey Championship on CBC. We throw it to the national anthems now. Center in the U Sports Men's Hockey National Championship on CBC. Curtis Coleman, Matthew Smith here to bring you this finals action between the two seed UQTR Patriot and the one seed, the undefeated UNB Reds. A chance to make perhaps the greatest season ever as we get ready for the ceremonial face off between captains David Noel and Jason Wilms and Eric Lindros for the ceremonial puck drop. That's pretty nice, Eric Lindros. Obviously, Philadelphia Flyers legend, NHL Hockey Hall of Famer. Nice to see him drop in a puck here, and it's so an ever-important game between these two teams, Curtis. Both teams trying to accomplish and give back to their program. Historic years. Yeah, and the team's getting ready for the start of the game. We take a look at the starting lineup for UNB. It's been their starting lineup all tournament. Richard, McCallum, Landry, Carson, Wilms, and Nurse. I mean, these guys have been playing incredible so far, as we saw against Brock and TNU. Made easy work of these OU 18s. But on the other end, Curtis, the UQTR starting lineup, highlighted by Simon LaFrance, of course, and his brother, Felix LaFrance, who have been playing incredibly well so far in this tournament. It's going to take a lot of these guys on the Patriots to step up. So look for the star players as they shoulder that responsibility. The opening face up between Samuel Italia and Jason Wilms. We are underway in the 2024 University Cup Finals. Carson dumps it in. 
And David Noel chases it behind his own goal. He puts it to the far side, now passes it to the middle. It's a turnover. Carson, quick toe drag. Couldn't get a full shot off, doesn't get all the way through. And a stick already on the ice. Yeah, these UMB Reds players, man, they are fast out in the gate. They play with so much speed, and if you turn this puck over in the offensive zone, they will hem you in it by that crucial cycle game that they throw on opponents. Kate McCallum flips it back in, and David Noel has it on the far side. Leads out of his own end, takes a tumble on the ice, gets back up and maintains possession before being picked off by Savoie. Petizian, he is fast as heck. He's checked by Lozon behind the net. Savoie. Nolay. McKay. McKay throws it on net from the far corner. Gloved down by Gravel. We saw Curtis Batizia making his way to the front of the net in front of Gravel. You know, these UMB Reds players, they know how well Alexi Gravel has been playing so far in this tournament. A 972 save percentage throughout the playoffs. So... They're going to want to beat him. They're going to have to get bodies in front of him because he has been sharp as a brick wall so far in this national championship tournament. Face off. One by Brady Gilmore. McGinley, his point shot. Didn't get all the way through. Gilmore in the corner against Cornoyer. Frenette couldn't take it. Now Simon LaFrance. His pass misses for net, picked up by Kammerer. Gilmore behind the back pass. Kammerer is going to blast it on net. Save made by Gravel. You know, you mentioned, hang on. You mentioned for net. And, you know, the media talked to him after the big win versus McGill yesterday. And, you know, he says, I told the guys before the game, it's going to be about who wants it more as we take a look at the replay from the point shot. It's going to be important to get bodies in front of Gravel because that is an easy stop. But like I was saying, second-year player, Patriot Connor Fournette, at the end of the day, I think we wanted it more than them. Well, tonight, if they're going to want to beat the Reds, they're going to have to play like they want it more. But it certainly is a tough task. Puck is skied out of play by Jason Wilms into the mesh. Are we a face-off? And these face-off draws will become important as the game continues because we know how good UMB was against Brock and allow them to dominate the first period in Cor the Badger zone. Corbet against L'Italien. L'Italien wins it. Can they get it out? No, they can't. McCallum keeps it in. Wilms on the right side. Centering pass deflected wide by Corbet. Spruel. He loses it. And it's passed out. Dumoulin. Sends that to behind the net. Kept in. Cornoyer poked away. By Cade Landry. Spruel backhands it into the offensive zone as UNB goes for a quick change. Cornoyer. Not really a quick change, more of a long change. Well, Patriots for sure are going to want quick changes if they're in their own end. This relentless UNB forecheck, they're going to have to have clean exits of the zone and transition the offense into the red zone. Felix Lafrance angles it in. No icing. Isaac Nurse clears the zone. And Kaylin Gauthier chases it down. He's got Cully Carson right on his heel. Pierre-Olivier Roy gets it out. Felix Lafrance looking for Frenette. Nolet tips it away. Nolet in his own end on the far side. Cross ice pass to Savoie. Savoie to Nurse. Nurse hammered by Kaylin Gauthier. Gravel will come out to play the clear. It was going to be an icing, but... Gravel, always aggressive when it comes to playing the puck. This whole team is aggressive, right? Not the biggest team, but certainly the most physical, one of the most physical in the OUA. McGurn centering pass almost got onto the stick. And it's going to be a pass from behind, covered. That was Patizian he was looking for, covered by Gravel. And luckily for the Patriot, Curtis, what they've done so well so far in this tournament against Moncton McGill are those clean zone exits. You know, that game against McGill, both teams were clear in the zone and it was such a back and forth game and that's how the Patriot want to keep it. They want to get their chances in the red zone and they want to limit that offensive zone time from the Reds. Italian taking the face off against Brady Gilmore. Italian 23 of, 22 of 38 on face offs in the tournament. 
Gets dumped back in. Gravel behind his own net. Passes it to Noel. Noel cycles it around. Able to get it out. Baudouin. His pass misses La France. It'll be offside as L'Italien touches up behind La France. But he'd already entered the zone. And this line's going to have to be big for Les Patriotes. L'Italien and Felix La France with Baudouin. You mix that in with Simon La France's line. And you got two good scoring top six that can come at you. So if they want to win this game, they got to make sure all of these lines are playing at their best. Because the simplest mistake, Curtis, against the Reds could mean the game. Absolutely. They've made every team they face pay this season. They haven't lost in 376 days. Incredible numbers. Richard behind his own net. He's going to clear it this time to Austin Keating on the near side. His long pass goes all the way into the UQTR <laughs> bench. You see everyone on the team getting out of the way. I laugh because that's the second time now Mark gets in. You've almost been hit by a puck as you saw against yesterday McGill. He's got some pretty good reflexes, I have to say, for the head coach. Former player, of course, Marc Etienne Hubert, played for the Patriot back from 1999 to 2003, now taking over this program, and he has done remarkable things with it. Yeah, three straight Queen's Cup victories, of course, all on the road because Queen's Cup always hosted in Ontario, and they just won the Queen's Cup a couple days ago, or a few days ago now, about a week ago, at this very location in double overtime. So we'll see, they're gonna try and add hardware. Emmett Sproul's long pass intercepted by Rafano Mazansoa. Cornoyer, Felix Lafrance, Pierre-Olivier Roy. On the near side, Nolet. Gets it, turns it over for Net. nearly had a shot. They do get a shot, but Richard shuts the door. That's probably the biggest chance he's faced this tournament. Well, Richard certainly hasn't been asked to have the big, big games, but he's done what he's needed to do, and that's shut the door, you know. We talk about this shutout streak that's gone right now, 238 minutes, Curtis. He's trying to tie the record for most shutouts, which is three, which is held by Albertus Dale Henwood from the Golden Bears back in 1974-1975. So, potentially a shutout tonight would tie the record. Well, the last team to score the against them was the Patriot back last year's semifinals. Kammer. Nurse angles it out. Baudouin to Felix Simon Lafrance. He turns it over on the near side. Noel chases it into his own end from about the face-off circle. Passes it back. Kalen Gauthier behind his own net. Gauthier flips it out. Gets by McGinley. This will be a chance. Baudouin looking for someone. Couldn't get a full grip on the puck. Lozon. Baudouin misses the pass just around the face-off circle. Starting the other way. And that was Baber who will be offside. Yeah, Baudouin he had Lozon coming, skating into the slot. Just wasn't able to get the pass off. Would have been a great day opportunity for Lozon. Good defensive work, though, by the Reds. Shots 3-1 to one in the first five minutes of the gold medal game in favor of UNB. They were absolutely dominant in their previous two games as a clearance will bounce off the boards, angled to Gravel. He's just going to cover it. Well, I mean, they're used to that, having most shots. They average about 42 in the regular season compared to the Patriots' 36. It doesn't matter, though, if you're a Patriot player getting outshot. It doesn't matter how many. What matters is how many go into the back of the net. Has Patriot been outshot both of their games so far, winning them both? And I kept saying this over the tournament, you know, against Moncton and McGill, two very good teams, but, you know, Mark Etienne Hubert expects excellence as he set the standard in 2022 when he won the national championship. So he expects better from his group. Yeah, the last two national champions facing each other. McCallum sends it behind the net. Burnett knocks down McGurn in front of the net. 
And another big hit. UQTR playing physical so far. UNB really yet to uh, assert their presence physically. Patizian cycles around. His shot pad saved by Gravel from about the far faceoff circle. Felix Lafrance, an offensive zone entry, dangles through a few players. He's tied up. That'll be a penalty against UNB. UQTR will go to the power play. What an effort from Felix Lafrance. Yeah, a great move to try and split the D. Almost got it and then drew a penalty as it will be UNB Reds' Kale McCallum heading to the box for the hold. And now this 25% power play will get an opportunity to potentially open the scoring. McCallum, 42 penalty minutes in the regular season, two in the, play, in the tournament so far. National defenseman of the year winner as the faceoff is won by the Reds and cleared away. Noel behind his own net will start the offensive fresh rush. Frenette's pass pit, tipped back into UNB's end and Savoy angles it around. Simon Lafrance passes to Felix Lafrance. Roy battling against Nolet in the near side. Frenette behind the net finds Noel. Noel to Simon Lafrance. Lafrance in the faceoff circle. Cross ice pass bounces over the stick of Frenette. Frenette underneath. Felix Lafrance tries a cross ice pass. Felix Lafrance gets it back, just slides it on net. Pretty easy save for Richard. And La France goes for a couple extra whacks. Good play by Richard to get the, the freeze. As we talked about Simon La France and how good he has been in this tournament, you know, if when he has the puck, you have to make sure all his teammates are covered because he has a knack for finding his teammates wide open with some absurd passes. So when he has the puck, you got to be well aware around you. It's Lausanne and Wilms in the face-off circle. To the right of Richard. It's won by Wilms. Camera hammers that away. To the delight of the UNB fans in the crowd. Gravel just leaves it behind his net. Cornway. LaFrance tips it ahead. Willette tips it in. Willette fights off the defender. And drops it for Simon Lafrance. Lafrance, Cornoyer from the faceoff circle. His shot doesn't get through. Blocked cleanly by Kammerer, who gets slow to get back up, but it eventually does. Cornoyer in the middle of the ice. Lafrance, faceoff circle on the near side. Drops it. Cornoyer back to Lafrance. One timer misses wide. Loose puck. Lozon couldn't get it through. Kammerer was sliding on the ice to try to get to it. Cornoyer to Simon Lafrance again on the near side. His pass intercepted, and Wilms will clear it away. Great kill for the Reds so far, you know. UQTR doing a good job moving the puck around, but it's the Reds' camera with the big block and the defensive core just making sure everything stays to the outside, not giving them any opportunities on the second chance scoring. They're going to clear it out, and the crowd loves it. That'll kill off the penalty back to even strength. La Felix LaFrance, toe drag from Frenette. He knocks down a defender, McGinley. But McGinley also takes the puck away in the process. Noel can't keep it in. Austin Keating, long pass. Gilmore, breakaway. Gilmore scores! Brady Gilmore! Ah, just a great stretch passing play. Gilmore all alone as we take a look at the replay. Defenseman just caught up too high. Gilmore able to find his, himself behind the decor and finishes on the breakaway. Now the Reds up 1-0 just halfway through the first. Well, he brings Gravel to one side, shoots it right to the other. Wasn't a very powerful shot, just put it where he needed to. And the former seventh round pick by the Detroit Red Wings and the national sportsman-like player of the year gives the Reds the early 1-0 lead. Gilmore entered tonight with five assists on the tournament. No goals. There's number one. No better time to get your first.
Face off one by McGurn. Lengthy pass, Patizian tips it in. For the Patriot, you go down one early, but you can't lose that confidence. They were playing really well up until that goal. You just gotta keep playing like you were. Patizian, this is the pass. Hit by Gauthier. Look at the slot. McKay in the near corner. Drops it for Cade Landry. Landry, McCallum, point shot. Misses wide. Kept in. Eventually cleared by Jeremy Martin. That'll be an icing. And you know, the first goal, this arena erupted. And head coach of the Reds, Gardner McDougall, was talking to the media about this fan base. He said every time these guys get performing in front of us, our fans and the people of New Brunswick, we're trying to make a difference in how they feel. The Reds are a lot of people that are proud of what these guys bring in. And New Brunswick certainly traveling well, Curtis, here in downtown Toronto. Absolutely a great showing for the fans. Nicolas Savoie dumps it in. Cornway skates it around his own net. Backhand pass to Lozon. He's going to angle it off the boards. Shot from Susie doesn't get through. Tries catching the loose puck. Goes down. Can Maverick Gauthier keep it in? He cannot. Emmett Sproul clears it. Called the deflection, so no icing. Gauthier. Keating sends that back in. Gilmore turns, looking for a second of the game. He lost the puck before he could shoot. Keating drops it to McGinley. McGinley's point shot, stopped by Gravel. He's going to hang on. Bit of some extracurricular activities in front, but uh, that will bring us to a quick break. U UNB leads UQTR 1-0 in the opening frame of the University Cup Final. You're watching U Sports. Oh. CBC Sports is the home for university sports in Canada. Catch the gold medal game, the 2024 U Sports Women's Volleyball Championship tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific from McMaster University in Hamilton. All the action for U Sports Women's Volleyball Gold is exclusively on C CBC Gem, cbcsports.ca, and the CBC Sports app. U Sports on CBC. Chase the glory. Curtis now in the they Patriot zone. They put out their best face off, man. The Italian, Mark and Hubert knows how important these defensive zone draws are going to be because of how potent this UMB offense is. McCallum, pass to Keating. He deflects it into the offensive end. Noel, far side. A few bodies getting involved. Will let. Loses it, and McCallum just sends it to on Gravel. He makes an easy save. Gauthier from his own end on the near side. Finds Pierre Olivier Roy. He passes to David Noel. Noel banks it off the boards. That'll travel into the offensive zone. Richard leaves it. McCallum gets it out. That'll travel all the way down the ice and be an icing. Big offensive zone face-off for the Patriots. 
Yeah, and I'll keep reiterating how important this face-off draw will be. Like we saw against Brock and TMU, UMB dominated the face-off draw. It didn't really allow those teams to get their offense going in the UMB red zone. So if you can, TR can match the face-off pace of UMB, then hopefully it should be a back-and-forth offensive game. Simon La France on the left side can't send that through. It's blocked by Landry, and Patizian gets it out before being hit. Frenette sends it back in, takes a feed from Simon La France before losing it. McGurn with the steal. Cade Landry the other way down the left side. It's a three on two. Landry's pass attempt blocked by Cournoyer, and he'll chase it into the nearest boards. Simon La France. Dumps it in. Not sure exactly what he was thinking there. Not sure either. Either I think he was trying to purposely ice it so his brother Felix de France can beat the icing call. Kind of one of those new plays we see now in hockey where you intentionally shoot it for the icing but your teammates there to beat it. I think that's what Simon Le France was thinking there. Well, speaking of those new plays, I'm still waiting for someone to try the flying V. Point shot, no lay, breaks his stick, doesn't get it on net. The rebound in tight, Sproul turned aside by Gravel. And Alexi Gravel, Curtis, he's going to have to have his best game of his career, former. And, and we are going to throw it to another break. It's still 1 nothing. UNB leads UQTR in the finals. You're watching U Sports on CBC. CBC, CBC Sports is the home of University Sports in Canada. Catch the gold medal game for the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball Championship this evening at 7 Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific from Queen's University in Kingston as the Alberta Golden Bears face the undefeated Sherbrooke Ver -E -R. All the action on, for U Sports Men's Volleyball is on CBC Gem, CBC Sports.ca. Then the CBC Sports app. U Sports on CBC. Chase the glory. Speaking of undefeated, a chance there for the Reds looking to extend their lead in their hopes of accomplishing probably the greatest season in U Sports history. I mean, absolutely, Chris. There have been undefeated teams in U Sports, but none of them have played more than 30 games. As we take a look of the Alexi Gravel save, a lot of traffic in front of the net, trying to get the wraparound, and then he had to make a sprawling love save to be able to freeze play but yes Curtis nobody has ever gone undefeated 30 plus games UMB has trying to cap it off with a U Sports national title Corbet shot Gravel angles that wide Corbet already two goals in the tournament Sproul dumps that back in Kalen Gauthier find his own net Noel Blocked. It's a turnover. Morgan sends it towards the net. Save made by Gravel. He deflects that to behind the net. Noel going up against Keating. Here's a turnover. Gilmore flips it ahead. I'm not sure Morgan was expecting that. He's going to drop it. McGinley sends that around. 
Keating chases it down in the far side. Look at this relentless forecheck, Curtis. Hammer drops to Gilmore. Gilmore to McGinley. McGinley shot blocked by Jeremy Martin. Martin is able to get it out. And Gilmore regroups for another attack. Morgan flips it ahead. Miscommunication. He was looking for McGinley. McGinley had turned around by then. La France trying to battle it away from Landry or McGinley. Landry takes it around his own net and flips it high down the ice. That'll go for an icing. It'll be a face-off in the offensive zone for UQTR. Yeah, and like we saw, UMB versus Brock in the first quarter final game of the tournament. That whole first period, Curtis, was in Brock's zone. Brock was so tired, all they can do is chip it out and then change, but it was right back in their own end. UQTR, a really good team at clearing the zone, just got caught up a little there with the relentless forecheck for UMB. Obviously, they're going to get their chances. What the Patriot need to do is limit those chances like teams like TMU and Brock could not do. Simone La France taking the face off against Gilmore after Frenette was kicked out of the face off dot. It's won by La France. Felix La France. Simone lost his stick. Frenette gets the shot off. It's a pad save with the left pad of Richard. Petizian will send that the other way. Gravel. Waits, sneaky play nearly made by Isaac Nurse. What a game Isaac Nurse had against TMU. I mean, he was killing penalties. He was controlling the offensive play. When a guy like that who can play anywhere in your lineup so versatile, he's an important player for this Reds team. Well, we haven't mentioned it all tournament. I, I guess I finally will. Same building his sister Sarah normally plays in. I mean, the nurse is key a nurse cousin, Darnell Nurse, cousin, his sister, playing for the PWHL Toronto team. So, sharing an ice for a bit. I guess the PWHL Toronto doesn't play at home for a bit because of this, but Jordan Lepage sends it in front. Pat saved. L'Italien was there. Lepage injured in the OUA finals. Good to see him back on the ice. Yeah, a big part of this Patriot team. And they missed him dearly. Willette gets it out. McCallum sends it the other way. Macaulay Carson leaves it behind him. Baber looking in front for a deflection. Carson missed that pass. Carson. Another backdoor pass. There's a turnover. Dumoulin. McGurn starts the other way. McGurn down the right side. His shot misses wide. Savoie, he tries throwing it on net. That misses wide to the right. Nole on the far boards. Noel gets it behind his own net. Passes it. Kale and Gauthier. Pierre Olivier Lois. There's a pass off. Keating, the other way. Keating looking for Morgan, gets caught in between his skates, loses it. McGinley, cross ice pass to Kammer. In his own end. Light pass to Gilmore. Keating, left side, drops it. Gilmore, left face off circle. Keating, centering pass, scores! Morgan makes it 2 nothing UNB. Austin Keating, the U Sports MVP, Curtis, 50 points. Let's take a look at the replay. Tic-tac-toe play. Gilmore to Keating, right back to Morgan. Now they're up 2 nothing here with about five minutes left. Well, Morgan scored two goals at last year's University Cup and two goals this tournament as well. That's his third point, second of the tournament. What a start for the Keating, Gilmore, Morgan line. Yeah, excuse me, it was Austin Keating. He's an AUS MVP. 2 nothing UNB shots, 10-5. to 
La France to La France. Felix La France. He loses it, taken off the puck by Landry. Nurse. Landry, other side of the ice. McCallum looking, Landry tips that wide, leaves it behind the net for Baber. Felix La France to Simon La France. Trickles in, Spruel drops it for Nicolas Savoie. Savoie can't get it through. I think he was looking for Corbet on a pass. The other way, Pierre Olivier Roy chasing it. But Richard will just send that away. Cournoyer takes it from behind his own net. Nice pass to Lepage, cross ice. Right away, Roy was taken off the puck by the UNB defender. Wilms. Spruel on the left side, cross ice pass. Nole, Morgan backhands it on net, that's blocked. McGinley, waiting for his defense partner to come back. Already at the, uh, they were at the other end of the ice. Nole. As we will throw it to break now, we'll be right back. You're watching U Sports on CBC. CBC Sports is the home of University Sports in Canada. Catch the gold medal game of the GFL U Sports Women's Hockey Championship presented by Connect Energy tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific as the U of T Varsity Blues face off against the Concordia Stingers. Catch all the action on CBC Gem, cbcsports.ca, and the CBC Sports app. U Sports on CBC. Chase the glory. going to be a face-off after Richard covers it. UQTR going to switch their forward. It's going to be Connor Fournette now, Felix Lafrance, and Simon Lafrance. So Hubert electing to go with his first line here. About three minutes, 27, seven, 27 seconds left. Offensive zone draw. Italian taking it against Baber. It's won by Baber. Sorry, that was Frenette. Frenette. Simon Lafrance loses it. Carson. Flips that ahead. Isaac Nurse battling against Cornoyer as the puck trickles all the way down into the near corner. Frenette starts the other way. Frenette. Felix Lafrance looking for Fournette. That's picked off, or at least broken up by McCallum. As we've got a player on top of another player right now. Looking like the best of friends, giving each other a big bear hug. Yeah, UMB's bench jumped up immediately. They thought that that was a hooking penalty on UQTR. It was Rafa Nomazansoa. Take and a look. Baber. The replay, as you can see the stick, yeah, I would say that is a hooking penalty. It's a stick in between the arms of the Reds player. And just a big hug given to each other. But both of them will get sent to the box. Be four on four hockey here with about three minutes left. Cameron Baber, his third penalty of the tournament. Up there with the leaders, I gotta say. Meanwhile, Lori Rafa Nomazansoa named 
player of the game in their semifinal victory with a fantastic defensive performance and two assists. Yeah. I mean, on t he played great defensively, but on top, of, uh, on top of that, like you mentioned, two assists, getting involved on the offense, both sides of the puck, so a great player for the Patriot. Gilmore looking for point number three. Keating knocks it back to Nicolas Savoie. His pass, bit high for Nole. He's going to turn it over, but Keating manages to fight it right back to him. Lozon makes a nice move to clear the, get it out of the zone. Noel, his shot, slings that a bit high. Lepage can't keep it in. Gilmore had so much momentum, he just came flying in. Managed to fall down while doing it. Any opportunity Noel has the puck, he is going to shoot it. Curtis, 12 goals on the season for a defenseman, which is absurd. Absolutely a great season for David Noel. Petizian doing some great forechecking right now. Was taking them all on by himself. Oh, he's such a great player down low. He'll take the puck away from you if you're not Mon careful. Monroe Boucher, long pass to Lepage. Lepage knocked down by Petizian. Landry, his pass broken up by Frenette. It actually stays in, I believe. 30 seconds to go in the four on four. McCallum. Tries doing a dangle by. He loses it after getting tied up. The other way, Simon Lafrance. Drop pass. Frenette looking for Lafrance. Broken up by Cade Landry. Great play with his skate. That puck bounces in front. Frenette sends it around. Simon Lafrance gets it. There's a shot fanned on by Kalen Gauthier as he broke his stick. And it's a save made by Richard. I mean, what an unlucky play from Gauthier. I mean... Take a look at the replay. Another great A opportunity here for Le Patriot. But unfortunately, Gauthier's stick, it was a great pass by La France to find his teammate. But that twig just snaps on him. And therefore, Bouchard able to make an easy stop. Certainly not the way things, certainly not the way the Patriots wanted to start things out down to nothing and then their twigs and sticks are breaking when they have good looks. Gauthier after the face off win by UQTR. Maverick Gauthier turns, fires it behind the net. Lozon, 5 on 5 now. Stolen picked up by Wilms. Wilms starts the other way. He's got Nurse to his left. He's got Carson to his right. Drop pass. Camera shot deflected out of play. The Reds do such a good job, Curtis, just setting up at even strength in the opposition zone. Instead of electing to maybe shoot that on net with a backhand, bring it back to your D partner, and then try and get some offense going, get players in front of Gravel. Unfortunately, that shot deflected up into the netting. But we know how good UMB is at face-offs. Potentially get the last possession here in the period. 37 seconds to go in the opening frame. 2-0 UNB leads. Nole gets it at the point after the faceoff win. Throws it through. That's stopped by Gravel. And a great job boxing out by L'Italien. Really allowing Gravel the time to find the loose puck and pounce on it. And you can tell UMB is well aware of how well Gravel has been playing because in these earlier games, as we take a look at the replay, another faceoff win in Seanette. What they did against Brock and TMU, there weren't that many players that would go into the net in front of the goaltenders. They were more setting up down low, trying to get the cycle game going. But now instead, against Alexi Gravel, most of those players are going straight in front of him, trying to block his vision. Willette chips it away. Nole sends that into his own bench. And, you know, UQTR is going to have to do the same thing with Richard. We mentioned how good he's been playing and the streak that he currently has. They're going to want to break it. They're going to have to take his vision away because every shot that he's faced so far, great A opportunities. 19. Maybe he stopped them all. 19 seconds to go. In the first.
Gauthier dumps that in. Save made by Richard. 13 to go. Can't clear it out. Noel sends it back in. Willette misses the puck. Savoie gets it. Keating gets it out. That will do it for the opening frame. A great start for the UNB Reds looking to make the perfect season happening happen. They lead 2-0 through one period. A great period for UNB, Curtis. You know, the Patriot also played good as well. It was back and forth. It wasn't dominant, dominated by one team exactly. But UNB, man, they do such a great job on the forecheck like we saw in this period, Curtis. Forcing the Patriot to turn the puck over. And on the other end, they patted out. They got their chances, but once again, Richard shutting the door. But they patted out. They're going to talk about. They're going to have to talk about being better at clearing the zone cleanly, so they can transition that offense at the offensive zone. As we wait now to interview Coach, yeah, we Carter will be with McDougal for UMB. Yeah, one of the all-time great coaches in U Sports history. Thank you, Gardner, for joining us. 2-0 lead after the first period. Are you happy with your team's performance? Yeah, big positive, I, I think, in this game. Uh, the key is to get the lead. Uh, obviously, you got to protect it. We had a couple of big saves from Sam Richard, a key penalty kill for us. And then if you get a chance, you want to extend it. And uh, the second goal is a big goal for the team. Yeah, definitely was. Is there a spot, spot of improvement you'd like to see from the team going into the second and third? I think, you know, the second period is a big separation period throughout the season. Uh, we know we have a great opponent, and every shift is a, a key shift. You know, every face-off is a key face-off, but that's the challenge when you're playing for a national championship. That's what's at stake, uh, every shift, every face-off. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. All the best, fellas. Yeah. Good luck. Well, that was Coach McDougal. He's probably, as I said, pretty happy with his team. They lead 2-0 through one in the U Sports Final on CBC. The one you dream of every night. La seule chose qui te préoccupe, c'est la gloire. Le cheminement de la réussite. Of pushing yourself further than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. Les sacrifices que tu fais Quand toutes les chances sont contre toi When you can't push one more second Chase the glory Viseo for the likes or for the shares they do it for the fun of it for the thrill for the camaraderie for the memories cbc sports just because they love it the exchange was awesome yeah <laughs>
Sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. Welcome back to U Sports on CBC. It's the finals of the Men's Hockey Championship. It's UNB, it's UQTR, and UNB a great start with a 2-0 lead. Yeah, just a great period overall for them. And it starts with that forecheck, Curtis. I mean, some of these defenders, they think they have more time than they actually do in their own end. And boom, these fast players jump on you, immediately forcing you to turn the puck over. And that's how, that's how they generate their offense at even strength. And right now, as we're seeing with Alexi Gravel, they're getting players in front of him. And they're just taking shots from the point or they're moving the puck around well. Yeah, as we take a look at the highlights from the first period, honestly, one may have expected a bigger difference. Brady Gilmore, the opening goal out of the off the penalty kill. Yeah, what a pass by Austin Keating, a backhand pass to find his teammate all in alone. And then here he is, once again, the tic-tac-toe play and you know you get defenders out of place when you're moving the puck so well as we see there a little puck watch and nobody is picking up Gilmore or Morgan excuse me as he pops home the second goal yeah that made it 2-0 the second goal and, and they had their but, chances UQTR like you were just going to say like you know they're not out of it they've been playing extremely well as well going back and forth they just got unlucky with a great A opportunity that Twig on Gautier was snapped but more from UNB. They just want to get pucks fired in and they want to get their forwards to go down low and retrieve those second chance opportunities, which they're doing really well. So for the Patriot, you're going to have to work on clearing your zone cleanly. Yeah, they will have a bit of work to do, especially considering the fact they're down to nothing. We take a look at the stats from the game. What stands out to you? Well, I mean, just how close it is so far, which is, you know, something we haven't seen yet in this tournament when UMB is facing off against its teams you know it was three nothing at the end of the first against Brock but the stats were not close at all they demolished TMU in all facets of the game so it's refreshing right now for if you're a fan for the Patriots to see that your team is holding their own right now and they're playing well so don't think for a minute that this game is over only down by two going into the second period yeah that will be interesting to see how they react. And every year, U Sport celebrates the best student athletes and coaches in the nation. Here are the award nominees and winners of the Coach of the Year and Rookie of the Year awards. Here are the nominees for the Father George Kehoe Memorial Award as the 2024 Fox Sporty U Sports Men's Hockey Coach of the Year. Voici les candidats pour le prix commémoratif par George Kehoe présenté à l'entraîneur de l'année Fox Sporty U Sport. Des sports universitaires de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Gardner McDougall, University of New Brunswick, Université du Nouveau-Brunswick. Du sport universitaire de l'Ontario, from the OUA, TJ Ministerski, Université Brock University. Et de l'Association West Canadienne, from Canada West, Sven Boutenshan, University of British Columbia, Université de la Colombie-Britannique. Le lauréat du prix commémoratif par Georges Kehoe présenté à l'entraîneur de l'année Fox 40 U-Sport est The winner of the Father George Kehoe Memorial Award as the 2024 Fox 40 U-Sports Men's Hockey Coach of the Year is Gardner McDougall, University of New Brunswick, Université du Nouveau-Brunswick. The nominees for the Claire Drake Award presented to the U Sports Men's Hockey Rookie of the Year are A nomination pour le prix Claire Drake présenté à la recrue de l'année en hockey masculin U Sport 2024. Des sports universitaires de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Alec Bélanger, Université Dalhousie University. Du sport universitaire de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Connor Unger, Université Brock University. Et de l'Association West Canadienne, from Canada West, Jake Poole, University of Calgary. 
Université de Calgary. Le lauréat du prix Claire Drake présenté à la recrue de l'année en hockey masculin U-Sport est... The winner of the Claire Drake Award as U-Sport's Men's Hockey Rookie of the Year is... Connor Unger, Université Brock University. Winners and finalists, couple other great players here, the goaltenders in this matchup. I mean, a couple great goaltenders going to battle right now. Alexi Gravel for the UQTR Patriot. Look at that, Curtis. A staggering 935 save percentage. I mean, anytime a goaltender is going to put up numbers like that, you'll end the season with a great record like they have. But on the other end, Richard, 16 games played. He's got to give credit to Griffin Outhouse as well. But let's look at their playoff stats so far. Two games played each, two wins as we know. A 921 save percentage for Cavell, but on the other end, of course, 1,000 save percentage so far for Richard with that shutout streak that he currently holds so far. And the goals against average has been well for these games, or goalies as well. Yeah, of course, you mentioned that shutout streak. That is still going strong. Of course, UQTR plans on breaking that at some point during the second and or third period and get themselves back in the game and hopefully a lead but for now it's UNB up to nothing through one period you're watching U Sports on CBC Champions from across the CJHL come to Oakville this spring for the 2024 Centennial Cup presented by Tim Hortons. For more than 50 years, this tournament has highlighted the best in Junior A hockey. Catch all the action live from May 9th to 19th at the 16 Mile Sports Complex. Tickets are available now at hockeycanada.ca slash Centennial Cup. and celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline. Our passionate team unlocks a world of possibilities with digital broadcasting made simple, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. Proudly Canadian, ISI Live, be there. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. Parce que le sport, c'est bien plus que des résultats. C'est aussi des analyses et des dossiers qui nous plongent au cœur de l'univers complexe et en mutation. C'est vraiment incroyable. Suivez les actualités sportives sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. Champions from across the CJHL come to Oakville this spring for the 2024 Centennial Cup presented by Tim Hortons. For more than 50 years, this tournament has highlighted the best in Junior A hockey. Catch all the action live from May 9th to 19th at the 16 Mile Sports Complex. Tickets are available now at hockeycanada.ca slash Centennial Cup. and celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline. Our passionate team unlocks a world of possibilities with digital broadcasting made simple, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. Proudly Canadian, ISI Live, be there.
Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. Parce que le sport, c'est bien plus que des résultats. C'est aussi des analyses et des dossiers qui nous plongent au cœur de l'univers complexe et en mutation. C'est vraiment incroyable. Suivez les actualités sportives sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. U Sports on CBC, presented by the Championnat U Sport à Radio Canada. Une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fedler. Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program. Pierre Partenaire des Prix de l'Entraîneur de l'année U Sport. Vera Burn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du Sport Universitaire depuis 1979. Baron, exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusive des bagues des championnats U Sport. Welcome back to the 2024 U Sports Men's Hockey National Championship Final. Curtis Coleman, Matthew Smith bringing you this one in through one period. UNB, a 2 0 lead over the Patriot of UQTR. Yeah, it was it was a great team uh, show for the, in the first period, but it was Austin Keating, Curtis, most no, uh, uh, notably. That had a great backhand pass to Gilmore, who got behind the defense and was able to connect on the breakaway. And then once again, the tic-tac-toe play finds Cody Morgan, who shoots that one pass for Bell. Yeah, as we take a look at the scoring summary for the first frame, we don't see Keating's name on it, but that's because he got two assists. No, oh, absolutely. And kudos to Gilmore and Morgan connecting on the feeds from Keating and, you know, the great passing play. UMB so good at moving the puck around, getting defenders out of position. And they did that again in the first period. Just a lot of high IQ knowledgeable players on this team. They know exactly where each other are. The chemistry is clearly shown. Yeah, and the Patriot will need to find an answer to that because they do not want to let this game get out of hand. No, like we saw with most teams, Curtis, facing UNB, most of the game they're spending defending, right, instead of on the offense. So for the Patriot, they're going to have to try and find a good balance between the two to make sure you're not in your own zone for most of the periods. And they'll have to do that. CBC Sports is the home of University Sports in Canada. Catch the gold medal game from the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball Championship. This evening at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, from Queen's University in Kingston. As the Alberta Golden Bears face another undefeated team, much like the UNB Reds, the Sherbrooke Verreaud. All the action for U Sports Men's Volleyball is exclusively on CBC Gem, cbcsports.ca, and the CBC Sports app. U Sports on CBC, chase the glory. Both of these teams chasing the glory tonight, trying to win their, trying to win McCollum the national championship. Fait des vieilles verneuses et la rondelle se retrouve en territoire des Patriotes. McCollum, McCollum renvoie en fond de territoire. C'est Gravel qui saisit et tout de suite là, on veut mettre. C'est aussi efficace pour les Reds en ce début de deuxième. Les Patriotes en territoire offensif. L'Italien, l'Italien. On voit par la rampe, ça revient à la pointe. Noël. À Félix la France veut rejoindre l'Italien, mais ça ne fonctionne pas. Belle interception là, de Cade Landry. Landry, feinte. Oh, ça revient à Nurse. Nurse le tire, c'est bloqué, bien fait là, par David Noël, le capitaine des Patriotes. Maintenant, Pierre-Olivier Roy ne peut prendre le 10. Et là, le tir de Jay's, pardon, de Austin Keating. Ça en va dans le filet protecteur. On reprendra à la droite d'Alexis Gravel. Gilmore taking the face off against Lozon. 
Surtout avec un gardien de 6 pieds 3, hein, avec un, un solide gabarit quand même, ce Alexis Gravel. Brady Gilmore face à Lauzon. C'est Lauzon qui a le dessus euh, sur son opposant à la mise en jeu. Vincent Milowell est en plein, plein centre. Lauzon traverse. Engbleu, l'angle rouge, tire. Et on obtient une mise en jeu en territoire offensif. Et on apporte euh, pas de changement de chaque côté. Mise en jeu à la droite de Samuel Landry. Belle chance de Baudouin à la mise en jeu. Là. Mais les Patriotes ne peuvent conserver en territoire adverse. McGurn conserve le disque même s'il chute. Arrêt facile, là. Alex Gravel, un tir de loin, même s'il a rebondi devant lui. Petitisien se fait bousculer. Bonne mise en échec solide. Des doigts cournoyés. Rafano Mezanzoa envoie devant. On rappelle, Mezanzoa a été chassé en même temps que Cameron Barber. Baber, pardon. Dégagement refusé. Il y aura mise en jeu en territoire de UNB. CBC Sports is the home of University Sports in Canada. Catch the gold medal game of the 2024 GFL U Sports Women's Hockey Championship. Et on vous rappelle la finale pour la médaille d'or du côté du hockey féminin. Ça se passe à Saskatoon et c'est à 8 heures heure de l'est. Et Stingers de Concordia affronte le Varsity Blues de Toronto. U Sports à Radio Canada. Visio. U Sports on CBC. Pendant qu'on s'échange quelques coups de bâton à la mise en jeu, c'est Samuel Vitalien et Cole McCade, euh, Sean McGurn, pardon. Tire, ça va derrière le filet. Les Patriotes veulent s'installer. Trois Reds contre deux Patriotes. La rondelle ne bouge pas beaucoup. Il y a Ludovic Soucy d'impliqué Benjamin Nollet. Ça revient devant, on peut tirer du côté de Duboulin. La rondelle va de l'autre côté. Kellen Gauthier. Gang sa bataille physique, le tir, ça ne se rend pas au filet de Richard. Maintenant, les Patriotes. Et là, on entend une guerre des champs là, dans la foule. Non, elle renvoie de l'autre côté. La rondelle bondit drôlement, ça a des jus Gauthier. Mais on peut tirer, bien fait. Et là, on cherche à dégager. Bonne chance des Patriotes. Ça a, surpris, ça a semblé surprendre quelque peu Samuel Richard. Michael Petitian traverse la ligne rouge et renvoie en fond de territoire. C'est saisi par Loris Rafano Mezanzoa. Noël, une fois ça passe, être quasi intercepté par Corbeil, qui envoie là après son passage au vestiaire. Ryan Sproul. Wilms tire, ça touche l'extérieur du filet et se fait mettre en échec par Rafano Mezanzoa. On, on a un possible revirement, et on peut tirer. Et Martin ne peut turn around and firing was Monroe Boucher to try to get it out. They do. Martin dumps it in from pass center. Cameron Corbet leaves it. Nice move from Rafa Nomazansoa. Passes it up to Monroe Boucher. Spruel turns, fires it. It's caught by Cournoyer on the other side of the ice. Dumps it in. Delayed offside. And now it's waved off. Gilmore down the right side. Waits, drops it. McCallum, his shot misses wide to the right. Keating sends it behind the net. Gilmore, Keating takes the pass, cross ice. McCallum shot blocked. Another shot from McCallum, save made by Gravel. Good block by Fournette. McCall McCallum, another shot tipped wide by Gilmore. And the Patriot able to get it out. That was Félix Lafrance. McCallum, he's so dangerous at the point. Able to find his teammates for these backdoor you know, passes. Shooting wide purposely to try and get a guy like Cody Morgan to deflect it on net. There's a reason why he had 40 plus points in the AUS. Refino Mazenzola pass off the skate of Lafrance in and He's just going to go for the change. Landry, the other way. Looking for Baber. He avoids the hit from Lepage. Killing Gauthier. Chased down and hit by Baber. Lepage. 
to D pass to Kalen Gauthier. Italien chips it in. Italien on the near boards in the offensive zone. Gauthier sends it behind. Proua. Carries it on the backhand. Collision behind the play in the corner. Gauthier, backhand pass. Italien. Nurse in there on the inside boards, on the near boards. Nurse sends it behind his own net. Savoie will bank it off the boards, get it out. And it's cleared officially by Carson. Gauthier leaves it. Lozon. Dumoulin will get it out. McGinley. Takes it into the offensive zone. McKay, shot deflected wide. McGinley chases it in behind the net. Knocked down by Kalen Gauthier. McGinley whacks it into the near corner from behind the net. Ouellette on the far side. Dumoulin. He shovels it ahead looking for Lozon. That misses the other way on the right side. Wilms, quick shot. Blocker saved by Gravels. He almost jumped. Yeah, it's been a good start to the period for Le Patriot. You know what it starts with? Their dump and chase play and their forecheck able to cause turnovers. And they had a couple chances while setting up, shooting the puck on net. And then they're doing a good job on the other end, getting the puck quickly out of their zone. As Wilms, all he could do there was shoot that one on net. And now another important faceoff here in the zone of Le Patriot. Wilms taking the face off against Frenette. To the left of Alexi Gravel. Noel. Cornoyer fires it out. And it's dumped right back the other way. Cornoyer flips it. It's kept in. Corbet. Pass. Just misses Wilms as he whacks it, diving to save it. And he does manage to keep it in. Oh, this whole team is so good at just going going at their second chance opportunities and they do well keeping the puck in anytime they have the chance. Landry turns around chased by Susie. It's McCallum. McCallum drops it right back for Landry. Landry exits his zone. Crosses center ice. Corbet couldn't fire it right away. Instead does it on the second go. Goes for a change. Cornwayer chased by Keating, challenges him. He's got Keating hot on his heels, ending up getting it in, though. A lot of dumps and chases in the second period. Certainly an aspect of the game that the Patria talked about in the locker room. Coach Hubert clearly not seen enough offense in that first period. Now here's his pass. In on goal, backhand, pad save. Morgan turned aside as Gravel falls. That's a huge save by Gravel, Curtis. That was looking eerily similar to the first goal they scored. McGinley, his point shot. Right off the chest of Gravel. Oh, there's a player, hold on. Keating. As Keating on the ice, he'll get up though. We take a quick break. Stick around. It's 2 0. UNB leads UQTR. You're watching U Sports on CBC. CBC Sports, the home of University Sports in Canada. You already know this. Catch the gold medal game for the 2024 U Sports Women's Volleyball Championship 
this evening at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, from McMaster University in Hamilton. All the action for you sports, women's volleyball, is exclusively on CBC Gem, cbcsports.ca, and the CBC Sports app. You sports on CBC. Matt, you know the line. Chase the glory, Curtis, absolutely. Both teams trying to do that. Landry. After the faceoff win, McKay sends it behind the net. McGurn poked away by L'Italien. Refinum was in, so his pass misses. Richard will come out to play it. They're able to get it out. Patizian held up by Gauthier. UNB not liking that one. Oh. They thought it should have been an interference call, but it was very close. Definitely would have got it if it was a second longer. Refinum was Ansoa's long pass. Cross-ice pass and end-to-end. Baudouin, a little late to react on a cross-ice pass. Nurse speeds in the other way. His shot club down by Gravel. Nurse, such a fast, dynamic player. Skating down the right side as we take a look at the replay. Just the burst of speed. And then a pretty good shot. But a neat, nice save by Gravel with the glove. And you know, it's not just Isaac Nurse. All of these guys can just bring their speed up to levels that we haven't seen at least I've seen in the OUA. Just a fast, dynamic team as a whole. 11.29 to play in the second. Faber wins the face off, but it's ruled to stop. Faber kicked out. This is big now for Nett. The odds would say he would win this face off as Carson comes in. And the odds would be correct. As he does win it, Susie dumps, and it's chased by Monroe Boucher. Carson turns, turns it over. Monroe Boucher held up, quite literally by Savoy, in the far corner. Four players in there. Getting a good look at each other. Faber. Nurse takes the feed. For being hit. He doesn't even get it. Sorry. Nurse gets it right back up. He loses the puck though. Great effort from Isaac Nurse though. And Isaac Nurse gets body along his bench. That doesn't stop him from diving at the puck to try and keep it in. Just a relentless four checker Isaac Nurse is. Long clearance. Misses everyone. No icing called. L'Italien to Noel. Drops for Rafinou Mazensoa. Dumps it in. Richard, behind his own net, clears it. Rafinou Mazensoa gets it back. Long pass and a back door. Dumped by Rua, doesn't make it the distance. Kammerer on the near side. Sproul tips it ahead. Drops it. And Cornoyer gets it. Refinoma Zansoa clears it out. That'll be an icing. Yeah. Rafa, Rafinoma Zansoa just trying to find his teammate along the boards but gets caught up with the UMB defender. So it'll be an icing now. After a rather loud first period for UNB, it's been a pretty quiet second period. Well, that's it. The Patriots, they're adjusting exactly that. They haven't really seen this UNB team throughout the season. Throughout many years, you know how many times... Le been juge de ligne, indique aux joueurs placés derrière son partenaire de reculer. On fait la mise en jeu. Les Patriots veulent sortir. C'est raté. Et Reds. Et quelle mise en échec! Edouard Cournoyer le tasse complètement à Stan Keating. Morgan's going to return the favor. Rafa Numazansoa dances in. 
Landry pins him up against the boards. Landry, his clearing attempt is blocked by Simon Lafrance. Second attempt will be successful. Noel at center ice. Sends it around the boards. Landry will be the first one there. Just take it around his net. McCallum leaves it for Landry before being hit. Little miscommunication. Morgan gets it. Exits the zone. Finds Gilmore. Gilmore to the left for Keating. Keating's shot deflected wide. Maybe been looking for a pass there. As it's cleared back in by Petizian. Long pass, tipped by Felix Lafrance. And cleared right back the other way. McKay, look at him fly. Wins the race and avoids the icing. Noel, find his own net, knocked down. Manages to still get it off to Felix Lafrance. Baudouin turns and dumps it in. Frenette turns, passes it. Centering pass from Felix Lafrance backwards. Nearly worked. Frenette was cruising in towards the net. Didn't work that time, though. Great stick, though, by number 95, Justin Olay. That was a pass that was going to be centered into the slot. Nobody there to defend. Oh, no, a bad turnover. Waiting. Carson stopped by Gravel. Maverick Gauthier. A near disastrous turnover, but it'll stay 2-0 for UNB. We'll be right back. You're watching U Sports on CBC. CBC Sports is the home of University Sports in Canada. Catch the gold medal game of the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball Championships this evening at 7 p.m. Eastern, or at least when you're done watching this game, as the Alberta Golden Bears face the undefeated Sherbrooke Bear AR. All the action for U Sports Men's Volleyball is exclusively on CBC Gem, CBCSports.ca, and the CBC Sports app. U Sports on CBC. Chase the glory. It's going to be a face-off to the left of Alexi Gravel between Baber and Lozon. They get tied up. Monroe Boucher digs it out from in between their skates. Monroe Boucher, his pass. Finds Roy. Cournoyer will get it after a not great pass from Roy. Dumped and deflected in by Troy. Monroe Boucher takes it off of Cameron. Kalen Gauthier gets it back, throws it on net that's tipped out of play. You can tell Richard had no idea where that puck was for a minute. Oh, well, because he had players in front of him blocking his vision. Vision. That's what you're going to have to do for a guy like Richard right now. You get the opportunity at the point, you send it to the net. Hope that your forwards are there for second chance opportunities on the rebounds. Or get lucky and score from the point because of the screen. Either way. The 
will be an icing. Face off to the right of Richard. Long point shot. Got it deflected and Richard will make the save. 13 stops on the night for Samuel Richard. Looks like it will be quite easily the biggest workload of the tournament. Absolutely. I mean, this has been the closest anyone has come to giving UMB trouble. And, you know, UMB does such a great job of eliminating, eliminating the other opposing team's best players, whether it's LaFrance, Jacob Roach, or Kyle Bowlers. There's still a lot of time here for Simon LaFrance to get involved. So no worries there. Frenette taking the face off against Baber. Baber wins it in LA. Angles it to Savoy, who clears it. Carson and Nurse have to wait for Baber to get on side. They dump it in anyway, and Baber gets it. Baber throws it towards the goal. Easy pad save for Gravel. Tried to catch him off guard. Gravel was having none of it. Savoy can't clear the zone. LaFrance in tight. Felix LaFrance turned aside by Richard. And that is easily the best look UQTR has had tonight, Curtis. A nice tic-tac-toe play as we take a look at the replay. Burnett down low, right out into the slot to Felix LaFrance. But Richard there to stone them cold. What a good look. Face off between Lausanne and Wilms. Draw one by Lausanne. Cournoyer's shot deflected by Corbet out of play. And I'm going to be honest here. I'm a bit surprised. I feel like there's been a little bit less physicality than I expected for a U Sports Finals. Yeah, it's true. It has seemed that way so far. We still early though but we've seen other games be explosive and physical early on I guess right now nobody's trying to take you know a defender trying to get themselves out of position by taking a hit or making a hit such a big stage you really have to pick your moments Lazone taking the face off against McGurn Sean McGurn, runner-up in the LHL with London last year. We're going to win it all this year with UNB. Cornwaye turns, tries to whack it in. Can't. They're going to have to regroup. Talk about physicality. A guy like Cornwaye, typically a smaller player, skates so well, but as we saw against McGill, not afraid to throw the body. As speaking, he's doing early on right now against UMB. Speaking of physicality, Colton Cameron lays out the body on Pierre Olivier Roy. McKay, long shot, slapper misses wide. The Italian racing to the loose puck with Patizia, and Patizia tries digging it out. Patizia hit behind the net. Well, there Born, you go, Curtis. Someone, uh, I guess they heard your call that nobody was being physical enough. That's that's honestly kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, <laughs> the Italian. We've had so many commentators jinx throughout the whole thing. Was hoping we get some big hits. Keating, nice one-touch pass to get it out. Gilmore drops it for Cody Morgan. Morgan gloved down by Gravel. See, there's that physicality. Noel taking himself out of play, and then a good shot, better save by Gravel. And we will take a quick break. We'll be right back. 2-0 UNB leads UQTR. You're watching U Sports on CBC.
champions from across the CJHL come to Oakville this spring for the 2024 Centennial Cup presented by Tim Hortons. For more than 50 years, this tournament has highlighted the best in junior A hockey. Catch all the action live from May 9th to 19th at the 16 Mile Sports Complex. Tickets are available now at hockeycanada.ca slash Centennial Cup. Welcome back inside the Manami Athletic Center. The gold medal game of the men's hockey final. But you know what else is going on? Very shortly, the women's hockey final. The 2024 GFL U Sports Women's Hockey Championship presented by Connect Energy tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific as the U of T Varsity Blues face off against the Concordia Stingers. Catch all the action on CBC Jam, cbcsports.ca, and the CBC Sports app. You know why? Because CBC Sports is the home of university sports in Canada. U Sports on CBC. Chase the glory. McCallum gets the face off. His shot blocked by Felix Lafrance. Simon Lafrance finds Felix Lafrance. Landry puts him off the puck and it hits him off the puck again. But a penalty called cross-checking. Crowd does not approve of that. No, it was certainly a cross check in my eyes, Curtis. You know, back of the numbers, if you take a look at the replay at the penalty, Felix of France going back. You know, I was going to say that, but I didn't really want to make it sound like I. It wasn't a malicious call, I'll say that. Maybe Felix of France, the way he was turning, put him, you know, he was about to fall anyway. But that extra push made sure of it. But nonetheless, it's a power play here for the Patriot. Cade Landry off to the box. Fourth in the OUA. 25% power play, Curtis. Face off, tangled up. They killed off the first penalty. And Cammers starts things off well for the second. Revel behind his own net. Noel. Starts, passes it to Frenette. Frenette to the right side. Simon Lafrance was taken down. Stick is lost. David Noel to Simon Lafrance. Frenette, là, qui a absorbé le. Lafrance, back to Noel. Noel, maintenant, Noel. à Frenette. Frenette. De l'autre côté, le tir, ça rate. Le bateau de Simon Lafrance la se fracasse en même temps qu'il tire. Noel empêche le dégagement. On s'installe bien du côté des Patriotes. On vient à l'orée du filet. Et quel jeu en défense de McGinley. La France, à Frenette. Frenette. Au cercle, à la France, derrière le filet. La France, on voulait remettre devant Pierre-Olivier Roy, mais il y avait deux Reds autour de lui. Frenette cherche Simon Lafrance, mais les passes transversales sont bien coupées là, par les Reds. Noël travaille bien, garde la rondelle en territoire adverse. Et là, c'est Megan Lee qui garde la rondelle sous lui. Et euh, d'après moi, on n'aura pas de pénalité ici. Set up the power play unit against this UMB Red team, as you saw against Brock and TMU. When given the opportunity, they just couldn't get anything going because how aggressive this penalty kill unit is. They don't allow you to set up, and then you make a mistake and they clear it. Et les Patriotes ont raté une, ex... une grande chance de souligner la Saint Patrick en arborant des uniformes verts. Par contre, je suis allé voir là autant. Euh... Vincent et Yael, les deux personnes aux communications, ils m'ont dit qu'on n'a pas porté d'uniforme vert du côté des Patriotes cette saison. Au tournoi, c'était seulement le chandail noir ou le chandail bleu. Nolé récupère les Patriotes en territoire adverse. Passe de Milo Ouellet. C'est cournoyé maintenant à Lozon. 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 Qui remet derrière l'Italien. Lozon. Sur la rampe. Cournoyé. Cournoyé. Lozon. Lozon. À l'Italien, Lozon. Encore. À Cournoyer. Passe à la France. Le tir. Bel arrêt et retour. Et on tente de remettre devant. Et là, Lozon a une belle chance. Ça revient à la France. Et là, on a peut-être trop attendu du côté de Lozon. Samuel Richard semblait être dans une piscine là devant son filet. Peut-être s'en voudra-t-il, Félix. 
Lozo, pendant qu'on a une bonne mise en échec de McKay. C'est Cournoyer. On relance. Anthony Moiroboucher se fait barrer la route par Cameron. Il a solide mise en échec. Et on perd son casque du côté de Baudouin. Et Baudouin semble avoir mal à la suite de ce contact. McKay entre en réto adverse. Ça revient derrière le filet. Gauthier. Et là, on n'appelle rien sur la séquence. Maintenant, ça revient à Cameron. Cameron qui dépasse le tir. Ça passe de l'autre côté. Et là, on a une autre chance si ça touche l'extérieur du filet. Les Patriotes embourbés là, dans leur territoire. Bonne présence du trio des Reds. Monroe Boucher relance. C'est du moulin. Du moulin. Qui envoie derrière. Landry arrive le premier, mais qui est bousculé par Ludovic Soucy. Là. Les Patriotes menacent. C'est Ludovic Soucy qui renvoie sur l'aile. Rafano Mazanzoa descend de son poste et là, il y a le casque de Baudouin là, qui jonche la patinoire en territoire des Reds. Noël. Sans doute, devrait-il passer le protocole des conventions cérébrales? Reste à voir. Cameron le tire. Gravel n'a jamais vu cette rondelle. Ça revient à Cameron qui bloque avec son patin, mais c'est sorti. On rentre tout de suite du côté des Reds. Gilmore, Gilmore, dans le coin, bousculé. C'est Noël qui veut reprendre. Et là, c'est Dumoulin maintenant qui quitte son territoire. Dumoulin. Lob sur le banc des Patriotes. Et on devra reprendre en territoire neutre. And we mentioned this is the most action Samuel Richard has gotten throughout the tournament, and he has been absolutely on it. I mean, he has been terrific. Arguably, could be the goalie of the U Sports National Tournament. I mean, Curtis, this shutout streak, like I said, 238 minutes. It extends back to Game One of the AUS Final, which saw UMB defeating Moncton three to one, and it was Moncton Dennis Toner scored for the Egle Bleu. And it was the only goal in the series, and it was about a minute and 58 seconds into game one. And then they were blanked for the final 118 minutes of that series. And that's the great part of having two amazing goaltenders. Not only is Samuel Richard great, but Griffin Outhouse also a heck of a goaltender. They basically split games almost perfectly even this year. I mean, you said 14 games for Outhouse, a 1.21 goals against average with a 9.39 save percentage. Lepage. Couldn't really control the puck. He was trying to get a rush going. Landry flips it across. It was Corbet. Landry in his own end again. 47 seconds. Camera fighting for it on the near boards. McGurn picks it up in the corner. Turns around. McGurn skates back towards the blue line. Camera. To McGurn. McGurn underneath. Gilmore was looking in the slot for McGurn, but that was intercepted. McGill McGinley keeps it in. McKay on the far boards. Takes it into the corner. Tries shoveling it around. Instead drops it to Savoy. Savoy to McKay. McKay from the faceoff circle. Shot save made by Gravel. Loose puck almost batted out by McGurn, but Gravel will catch that. And Gravel has been so good so far tonight and Curtis it was one of his teammates for net said there's a reason we call him a wall I think he always comes up big in big games I'm proud to have him in my net and he came up big today and we got the win because of him for net talking about their victory over the McGill Redbirds yesterday where Alexi Gravel certainly had to step up big and his team credited him with the win Clears it. Monroe Boucher. Five seconds. He's going to wait. He's going to wait. He's going to wait. And he's going to wait for the end of the second. Me de Toronto. No Les Reds mènent 2-0 en you finale be canadienne. Maintain a 2-0 lead through two. Well, if you're in a you have to be happy with that period. As we take a look as... Ah, tout à fait, bien hâte de voir euh, ce qu'il euh, qu va nous dire, là, lui qui tire de l'arrière. Et euh, il reste seulement 20 minutes de jeu pour, euh, à tout le moins, créer l'égalité. Donc, euh, 
jamais une situation facile là, pour un entraîneur qui tire de l'arrière. Bref, on est presque prêt. On est presque prêt. Well, no, we're just gonna we're just gonna throw it to our translator, hey, Dylan Baker, even better, who is on the French broadcast right now. Over to Dylan. Marc Etienne, est-ce que tu m'entends bien? Marc Etienne, est-ce que tu m'entends bien? Donc, euh, on, on a quelques problèmes techniques. On va recommencer. Marc Etienne, est-ce que tu m'entends? Donc, on va continuer d'essayer. Marc Etienne, est-ce que tu m'entends? Donc, Marc Etienne, 2-0 après 40 minutes de jeu. Qu'est-ce qu'on peut, à quoi on peut s'attendre des Patriotes pour la troisième période? Il reste 20 minutes. Il reste 20 minutes à notre saison. C'est sûr qu'on va tout donner jusqu'à la fin. Ouais, on le voit notamment avec le page là qui a fait son entrée. C'est extrêmement physique. Est-ce qu'on peut s'attendre à une période intense également en troisième? Asking about the physicality of this game, Marquetien Hubert saying it's been a physical game and they have to do the right things in the third period to push this game to its limit and give a chance for the UQ team. Donc, question assez simple évidemment, Marquetien. Thank you, Dylan. Two nothing. You and as he was saying, 20 minutes left in the season. Still a lot of hockey to be played, but. They'll need something big if they want to take down the undefeated UNB. Stick around for the third. You're watching U Sports on CBC. Moment again. The one you dream of every night. La seule chose qui te préoccupe, c'est la gloire. Le cheminement de la réussite. Of pushing yourself further than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. Les sacrifices que tu fais, quand toutes les chances sont contre toi, when you can't push one more second, chase the glory. Viseo. They do it for the fun of it, for the thrill, for the camaraderie, for the memories. CBC Sports, just because they love it. The exchange was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. It's that moment again, the one you dream of every night. La seule chose qui te préoccupe, c'est la gloire. Le cheminement de la réussite of pushing yourself further than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. Les sacrifices que tu fais, quand toutes les chances sont contre toi, when you can't push one more second, chase the glory. Viseo.
They don't do it for the likes or for the shares. They do it for the fun of it, for the thrill, for the camaraderie, for the memories. CBC Sports, just because they love it. Change was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. We are 20 minutes away, or I guess UNB is 20 minutes away from perfection here at the Mattamy Athletic Center on CBC. Curtis Coleman, Matthew Smith here to potentially witness this historic moment. And it would also be historic if you could, you could pull off the comeback. Absolutely. That would be some type of history that would go down tonight. But like you said, UNB trying to chase perfection this season. UQTR trying to look for that national dynasty. As we take a look at the highlights of the second period, it was 2 nothing through one and a lot more relaxed in the second, I'd say. Very much. I would say the first period was easily UMB's period, but now in the second, it was very even back and forth play as we take a look at the highlights you're watching. You know, UMB so good at cycling the puck around, controlling plays. You can see they got a lot of opportunities keying there behind the net, making passes. And then another opportunity, breakaway, but Alexi Gravel with the stretched out pad saved there to keep things only down by two. Isaac Nurse, as we mentioned, the speedy forward getting opportunities and a bad turnover behind the net. But another good save by Alexi Guerrero. That was Carson. But there was the one good look for they Patrick. Maybe their best chance in the period was the tic-tac-toe to Felix LaFrance. But they're starting to adjust UQTR. They're starting to being able to get their forecheck relentlessly. They're able to dump the puck in, cause turnovers. And so that period, I would say, was a lot closer. But now in the third period, Chris, they're going to have to throw everything at UMB if they have any chance to come back in this game. Absolutely. They got to go all out. And every year, U-Sport celebrates the best student athletes, coaches, honoring major accomplishments in their sport. Here are the nominees and winners of the Fox 40 U-Sports Community Service Award and the U-Sports Player of the Year Awards. The nominees for the Dr. Randy Gregg Award for the student who excels in hockey, academics, and community involvement are Les candidats pour le prix Dr. Randy Gregg pour l'excellence dans le hockey, les études, et l'engagement communautaire sont Des Sports Universitaires de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Alec Bélanger, Université Dalhousie University. Du Sports Universitaire de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Alexandre Gagnon, Université McGill University. Et de l'Association Ouest Canadienne, from Canada West, Dawson Holt, University of Saskatchewan, Université de la Saskatchewan. Le laureat du prix, Dr. Randy Gregg, pour l'engagement communautaire est the winner of the Dr. Randy Gregg Award for Community Service is Alexandre Gagnon, Université McGill University.
The nominees for the Senator Joseph A. Sullivan Trophy as the U Sports Men's Hockey Player of the Year are En nomination pour le trophée du sénateur Joseph A. Sullivan, présenté à l'athlète de l'année U Sport en hockey masculin des sports universitaires de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Austin Keating, University of New Brunswick, Université du Nouveau-Brunswick, du sport universitaire de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Simon La France, Université du Québec à Trois-Rivières, UQTR, et de l'Association West Canadienne, from Canada West, Connor Bouchard, Université Mount Royal University. Le lauréat du trophée Joseph A. Sullivan décerné au joueur de l'année en hockey masculin U sport est the winner of the Senator Joseph A. Sullivan Trophy as the U Sports Player of the Year in men's hockey is Connor Bouchard, Université Mount Royal University. Congratulations to all the nominees and winners of these fantastic awards. Back to another award that's happening in 20 minutes, theoretically, the championship as we take a look at the stats through two periods in the finals. Yeah, like we mentioned in the pre or the post intermission, Curtis, very much an equal period. As you can see, UQTR is starting to match UNB in shot totals 22 to 16. Obviously, they would like to get their power play going, but kudos to that UNB penalty kill, how good it is. It's clearly being shown game in and game out. And of course, uh, the power play time, two and six. And so, you know, for UQTR, if they end up getting more power play opportunities, they're going to have to try and capitalize on those to get themselves back in the game. But I'm liking the way they're playing five on five. Yeah, and we've talked to both of these coaches at the uh, end of the periods, gotten their thoughts. Let's take a look at them comparing their numbers. Gardner McDougal, one of the great coaches in U Sports history. I mean, I, I can say one thing for Coach McDougal, McDougal that will sum it all up. He has won eight of the nine UNB national championships, Curtis. I mean, enough said. He, we know he's broken a lot of records with his appearance in the U Cup finals game so far, but just eight out of nine. It goes to show how good of a coach he is. On the other end, Marquez Saint Hubert, what he's done, starting as an assistant coach in the QJMA, uh, QJMJHL with the Shikou um, and now a former Patriot player, and now coaching that team. He's won four Queen's Cups championships and one national championship. So looking for that very important second one, Curtis. And we'll see which of these coaches comes away with that national championship in a little bit. You don't want to miss the end of this. You're watching U Sports on CBC. Champions from across the CJHL come to Oakville this spring for the 2024 Centennial Cup presented by Tim Hortons. For more than 50 years, this tournament has highlighted the best in junior A hockey. Catch all the action live from May 9th to 19th at the 16 Mile Sports Complex. Tickets are available now at hockeycanada.ca slash Centennial Cup. and celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline. Our passionate team unlocks a world of possibilities with digital broadcasting made simple, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. Proudly Canadian, ISI Live, be there. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visit the shop.usports.ca to profiter of the promotion of the semaine de la collection Nike Team. Exploitez mon potentiel maximum, c'est un truc de fou. Découvrez les récits numériques et vidéos de Podium sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. U Sports on CBC, presented by Les Championnats du Sport à Radio-Canada. Une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the Government of Canada. 
Nike, just do it. Fentner, Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program. Pierre Partenaire des Prix de l'Entraîneur de l'Année U Sport. Vera Burn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du Sport Universitaire depuis 1979. Baron, exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusive des bagues des championnats U Sport. Welcome back to U Sports on CBC and what could possibly be, be the final 20 minutes of the 2023-24 U Sports men's hockey season. Curtis and Matt set to bring you all the action in the end of it. Yeah, Curtis. But for CBC Sports is the home of University Sports in Canada. It's the gold medal game of the 2024 Men's Volleyball Championship this evening at 7 p.m. Eastern as the Alberta Golden Bears face the undefeated Sherbrooke Valley Odd. All the action for youth sports men's volleyball is exclusively on CBC Gem, CBC Sports.ca, and the CBC Sports app. Youth sports on CBC chase the glory. But as I was saying, a very similar story to that one. We got the undefeated UNB Reds potentially 20 minutes away from being the first team since 1973 to go perfect in a season. It was crazy. I believe they only played about, what was it, 24 games back in the day. So nobody has gone this long undefeated. I think it's now 46 games UNB has been undefeated. 376 consecutive days. I mean, that is something unheard of. Whatever league it is in the hockey game and now... For UQTR, you got to believe that they are going to play their best period here in the third. Well, they're going to need that if they want to win the championship, right? They're only down by two. I mean, they got three power play opportunities. If you can score five on five, maybe get lucky on that power play, then you're back in it. But we'll see what kind of adjustments they talked about. And we'll see what they can do here in the third. So we take a look at the goal here, Austin Keating. The tic-tac-toe play to Gilmore across to Cody Morgan. A great tic-tac-toe passing play. And, of course, the first goal, Keating again with a nice backhand pass to his teammate Gilmore, who scored the opening goal. Underway in the third. UQTR has it in the offensive zone. La France banks it off the board behind the net. Noel, point shot. Blocker saved by Richard. Noel's got a heck of a shot. Nurse the other way, his shot blocker say. By Gravel, Nole at the point. Nole to Savoie. Savoie! Centering pass misses. McKay walks in, his slap shot blocked by Pierre Olivier Roy. Nole loses it. La France on the right side, dumps it in, goes for a change. Richard. Savoie. No icing called. Goes behind the net. Simon LaFrance shovels it out. Your head is down in the stands. Game is started. Make sure you're looking up. Some pucks are flying into the stands. And a good start to the period for the Reds. Starting in the Patriot zone. And like Coach McDougal said at the first intermission, Every shift and faceoff will be important, and they're even more important now in the last period of the game. Faceoff won by UQTR. Camera keeps it in on the clearance attempt. Rafa Nomazansoa to Cornoyer. Cornoyer off the boards. Burnett backhands it on net from a bad angle. Save made by Richard. Burnett from the far corner. LaFrance, backdoor pass. Monroe Boucher is also turned aside with the blocker of Richard. Frenette, ball into the ground after being smothered by defensemen. The other way, McGurn carries it in. 
McGurn fishes it out from the corner, drops it, Landry throws it on net. Stopped by Gravel. And CBC Sports, the home of University Sports in Canada, catch the gold medal game in the 2024 GFL U Sports Women's Hockey Championship, presented by Connect Energy tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, as the U of T Varsity Blues face off against the Concordia St Stingers. Catch all the action on CBC Gem, cbcsports.ca, and the CBC Sports app. U Sports on CBC, chase the glory. And both teams chasing the glory very hard now, trying to win the national championship. Gilmore, backdoor pass, broken up. Boldwai on the left side. Takes it into the far corner, sends it around the net, but nobody was there. Landry's going to be the first one to get the puck. He sends it behind his own net, Gilmore. Banks it off the boards for Morgan. Morgan with an interception on Noel's clearing attempt. Bad shot. Easy. Misses the net. Bounces back to Gravel off the boards. He'll cover. UMB, they're just going to want to shoot any pucks on Gravel so they can spend most of the period in the Patria zone. You know, they, you can't come back if you're spending most of your time in your own end. And that's what UMB is trying to do right now. Like they did against the Brock Badgers in that first game. Wilms taking the face off against L'Italien. It's won by L'Italien. He sent it around, but Dumoulin lost his stick before he could get the puck and try to create a rush. Three minutes into the third. Savoie, point shot, save made by Gravel. There you go, Savoie. Savoie electing to shoot on net. Knowing there's nobody in there, but he's going to take the face-off draw as we take a look at the replay. And it's that four-check once again, as you can see, causing turnovers, going to their point guys. Nobody there in front of Gravel, but Savoie not waiting. Says, hey, I'm going to shoot it. He's either going to let it in or save it, and we'll get the face-off. That's what's happening. Noel brings it around the boards. Felix LaFrance gets it. Kalen Gauthier. Landry in his own end, carries it on the backhand. Frenette, his centering pass to nobody. Richard just gonna hold on to that as it glides to him. Really Patriot, we don't know how much time they're going to spend in UMB zone, so you gotta make sure that you win, if, mo if not most, all of these face-offs. You have any chance of coming back you want to be able to control some offensive time in their zone but a loss like that and the puck is right out or is or it is Frenette it? keeps it in Felix Lafrance shot blocked by Cameron and he's gonna turn and clear it Noel in the neutral zone turns around and passes it off the boards to Lafrance there's a turnover Lepage backhands it towards the goal at fluttered wide it's going to be fired away Nurse he's going to win the race to the puck doesn't get a shot off ends up kind of putting it across as opposed to on net Patria, you kind of want to get your home fans into the game as you saw with Miguel with the live band it must have felt like a home game for them, and it can go a long way in translating onto the ice play. So, you know, whether it's a big hit, a good offensive opportunity, get your fans who have traveled here all the way from Trois-Rivières into the game. Savoie. Looking for Nolay. Nolay lost it. It's in the far corner. McKay. Skates it out of the defensive end. Now he'll take it in the offensive zone. He's got Petizian with him. He'll just throw it on net. Gloved down by Gravel for his 24th save. It's very clear UMB just wants to get their face off or offensive zone face offs in the Patriot zone. We didn't see that a lot in the first and second where they just shot it on Gravel and said they were electing the pass. But now they're taking everything to the goaltender, knowing how good they are in the face off draws. 
as the Gilmore line now. It's been so good this game. Back out for Coach McDougal. Italian taking the face off against Gilmore. Well, not anymore. Italian taking the face off against Keating. Keating wins it. McGinley, his shot misses wide. Loose puck in tight. Keating scores. Takes it off the boards. Wastes no time and shovels it. Top shelf on Gravel. That's Keating's third point of the game, Curtis. And man, the hands on this kid. Look at this. The shot from the point. First of all, wins the offensive draw. Important shot from the point. Hits the boards, and then Keating, look at the work with his hands close and tight, able to corral the puck and score on his backhand before Gravel even knows where the puck is. Superstar player making a superstar play, putting his team up by three. That's Keating's second goal of the tournament. The AUS MVP coming up when they need him most. Noel can't handle... Can't grab a hold of the puck. Savoie. Here's a shot. Save made by Gravel. Skated out by Frenette. They got to get something going. Nice pass off the board. Simon Lefranc slows down. But he is absolutely smothered. Frenette loses the puck, tries passing it. It's stolen by Isaac Nurse. They keep it in. Frenette tries throwing it towards the net. Tipped. Stopped by Richard. A wacky play. Let's take a look at the goal by Keating once again. Or just a replay here of that opportunity by UQTR. A deflection, but just not enough on it. Just glides right into the pad of Richard. And this UMB team, Curtis, is just so defensively sound in their own end. They don't really give you anything. And you got to be quick with the puck. Because if you hold on it for a second too long, they will check you hard and take the puck away and clear it. Like they just did in that last play. Susie, behind the net. Drops it. Maverick Gauthier. Susie catches it. Tries leaving it for Lozon. Up in the air. High stick. Blown down. It's a good idea by Maverick Gauthier, though, to pinch and lay the body, keeping the puck in. That's what these defenders are going to have to do now in every single opportunity. It's not a 50-50 anymore. It's you have to pinch and keep these pucks in. You don't really care about the all-man rushes right now. The way this game's been going and the way we've seen UMB play all tournament, they go up by three. It's really hard for opponents to even get back and make it a close game. So right now you got to activate your defenders. Susie's face off against Wilms. This is a crucial one if UKCR wants any chance of winning this game or at least solving Samuel Richard. Shoveled away by the Reds. Noel. Pass cleared. Cornwallier to Noel. Noel. Cross ice pass. Tape to tape to Lozon. Bo Dumoulin. Walks in. Shot. Save made. Loose puck in front. And Richard's lost his stick. And he gets it right back after making another save. And Noel loses it. Can't control the puck in time. He needs to exit the zone. Potentially a costly mistake for the captain. Yeah, the puck was just bouncing on his stick on the blue line. Couldn't keep it in. And a good chance by UQTR in front of Richard. Just couldn't shoot it home. Here's Keating on the left side. Slows it down. Wax it towards the net. It's cleared from in front of the net. Morgan fights for it in the near corner. Gauthier. Taken on by Morgan. On the near side, Italiani. Chased by McGinley. 
Kalen Gauthier turns and passes it to Rafinoe Mazansoa. Chipped away by Monroe Boucher. Sends it off the boards. And we will take a quick break after the play is blown dead. It's now 3 0 for UNB. You're watching U Sports on CBC. Check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visit shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. University Sports in Canada. Catch the gold medal game, the 2024 U Sports Women's Volleyball Championship at 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific from McMaster University in Hamilton. All the action for U Sports Women's Volleyball is exclusively on CBC Gem, cbcsports.ca, and the CBC Sports app. U Sports on CBC. Chase the glory. And UMB Curtis, 12 minutes and a half out from achieving that glory. But UQTR not going to give up too easily. Cleared. Dumped in Noel. Turns. Passes it to Frenette. Rua. Rua's pass out of reach for Frenette. Battle in the neutral zone. Frenette dumps it in and starts chasing. Savoie racing against him. Frenette lays out a hit. Backhand off the boards. Corbet flips it up into the air and it to behind the net. Hold the line. Long pass picked off. Wide open in front. McGurn. Save made by Gravel. Rebound goes to McKay. He misses high. Great and save by Gravel and close to keep his team in it right now. Tipped into the offensive zone. Richard leaves it. Not much forecheck being applied. They're able to just send it right back the other way. Gravel, long pass to Simon LaFrance. One touch pass to Lausanne. LaFrance down the right side. Tangled up. A fanning on the shot by Felix LaFrance. That misses wide left. Wide right. Apologies. McKay flips it high into the air. That bounces down the ice. Rafa Nomazansoa racing for the puck. Attached at the hip with Baber. Gauthier turns it over. Carson just sends it back in. Again, it seems like UNB just more focused on killing the clock. Situational awareness. Absolutely. Just dump it in. Keep doing what your forecheck has been doing all game. If you have an opportunity, send it to the net. Get a face-off. You've been so good at winning face-offs throughout the game already. Monroe Boucher and Nole battling for it on the far side. Nurse turns it over. Monroe Boucher carries it around the net. Leaves it. Susi from the near corner. Maverick Gauthier's point shot misses way wide left. Cornoyer tries centering it. Gilmore picks that pass off. Cornoyer just sends it behind. Landry. Nurse. Gets it out. Picked up. By Monroe Boucher. Maverick Gauthier. Cornoyer just deflects it ahead. Picked back up by Cameron. Gilmore knocked down as he shovels it out of his zone. Cornoyer, pass, Willette on the right, slips. It's picked up by Keating. Morgan pushed off the puck. And it just travels into the offensive zone. Ref 
Trefano Mazensoa takes it around and dumps it in. Landry flips it high. Finds Spruill. Lepage. Lozon. Dumps it in. Landry. Backhands it around. Rafinou Mazensoa races for it. Lozon turns, fires, blocked by Wilms. They're able to exit the zone because of that. UQTR just having trouble getting anything going right now in UMB zone. They're doing a lot better in the second period. Right now in the third, having trouble trying to find that game. Long shot by McGurn, gloved down by Gravel, and that will bring us to a break. UNB, nine minutes away from perfection. You're watching U Sports on CBC. Parcours inspirant. Un regard unique sur l'humain derrière l'athlète. Exploiter mon potentiel maximum, c'est un truc de fou. Découvrez les récits numériques et vidéos de Podium sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. shares. They do it for the fun of it, for the thrill, for the camaraderie, for the memories. CBC Sports, just because they love it. CBC Sports, the home of university sports in Canada. Catch the gold medal game from the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball Championship this evening at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific from Queens and Kingston as the Alberta Golden Bears face the undefeated Sherbrooke Valley. All, all the action for you sports men's volleyball is exclusively on CBC Gem, CBC Sports.ca, the CB and the CBC Sports app. You sports on CBC. Chase the glory. UQTR manages to escape the zone, but UNB is just not going to let anything get close to the net. As I say that, it's a turnover. Cornoyer, great job laying out the body by Kammerer. Made it impossible for Cornoyer to get close to the net. I mean, this UMB defensive unit has been great all season, all through the playoffs. And they show again, not giving Le Patriot anything into the slot. There's a big reason why this team has been undefeated for so long. You got a six-man unit. Keating, eek, a big Collision with Noel, but he will get up. And that Noel gave him a slash to the body. The referees don't call anything. Felix Lafrance turns it over. Cody Morgan starts the other way. He's got a goal in this one already. Down the right side. That's tipped high and away. Carson battles for it. Kalen Gauthier sends it on the near boards. It's a turnover for Nett. Let's Kalen Gauthier chase it. Tries to get it out, successfully does, just barely, as it was picked up by Morgan, but a little too late, as it had exited the zone already. And you can tell by looking at the faces of the Patriot players how frustrating it is to play against this UMB team. They just don't give you anything down low. They play you hard. Like I was saying, the six-man unit, Curtis, this whole team in general, just so defensively sound. A bunch of two-way forwards. And that's clearly the standard here for Coach McDougal at the UMB Reds program. Nurse ruled offside after getting a late push from a Patriot player. He does wrapping him as Enzoa. Players. 7.20 to go in the third. UQTR just trying to get UMB to make a costly mistake, give them a power play potentially. At this point, you got to try. 
try to get in their heads under their skins a little, but UMB's been here before. They, ex ex they know exactly how to handle these type of situations. Face-off win by McGurn. Sent in by Nolay and covered by Gravel. And Gravel has been so good for the Patriots in this tournament, Curtis. Obviously, Richard with the shutout streak, you know, but don't underlook Gravel in the work he's done. He will definitely be a nominee for the goalie of the tournament. Face off, one by the Patriot. Willette carries it out of his own end. Gauthier tries backhanding it ahead. Does into the offensive zone, but Landry's the first one there. He gets it out. Cornoyer deflects it ahead. No offside call. Very close one. Corbet plays it. No lay. D to D pass to Landry as he exits his defensive zone. Pass tipped away. He was looking to get a break pass to Corbet, but it was deflected by Ouellette. Rua. Passes it off. Baudouin in tight. Lausanne just missed wide right. Lausanne drops it back. Thrown on net. Tipped save made by Richard. Loose puck backdoor pass by Baudouin. Misses Lepage. McKay starts the other way. He's got speed. Save made. McGurn fakes the shot on the rebound. After getting it, they just send it behind the net. Emmett Spruill tracks it down. Spruill knocked down. Sabois tries to keep it in. He does. Spruill waits, just sends it behind the net again, killing more clock. In the process, Lepage. Cornoyer. Lepage gets it as they exit the zone. Flips it ahead, Nolay, long clearance. Noel banks it off the boards. Simon Lafrance leaves it for Felix Lafrance. Lafrance hip checked by Savoie. The crowd likes that one. Rafael Mazansoa turns around behind his own net now. Five minutes to go in the third. UQTR needs something. Noel. Dumoulin, a defender falls. Dumoulin walks in, misses wide. Oh, no. Curtis, another great look. As a move there, a spectacular move by Dumoulin. He's shaking his head as he was able to get around the defender with a quick little move, but shoots the puck wide on Richard. Has him looking up to the rafter, shaking his head. It'll be a face-off to the left of Richard. Wilms and L'Italien taking the face-off. It's a tie-up. The Reds are able to get it out. Killing Gauthier. Passes it off. Cornoyer dumps it in across the ice. L'Italien chasing it into the corner against Cameron on the far side. Nurse is in there in the battle. Left, great play by Isaac Nurse to get it out. Nurse starts the other way. Nurse stolen off of him by Cornoyer right from behind. Yeah, Isaac Nurse, a great skater, but don't forget about Cornoyer. His no best asset is his skating, in fact. McKay to McGinley. McGinley crosses center ice, passes to Patizzi, and he couldn't control it. And it just ends up being deflected into the offensive end. Lozon backhands it. It was a slow pass, but it's received by Baudouin. Roy on the right side sends it around the net. Nolay and Lozon will be racing for it. Lozon gets it, throws it high in the air, and it's blockered by Richard into the corner. Noel, long shot, misses wide. So close, just to the left. Noel keeps it in. His shot blocked. I think by his teammate. Another good look there by Noel. Just these Patriots just can't seem to get anything going. If they have the opportunities, they're either missing the net or guys are missing deflections. 
The looks are there. They just cannot capitalize. And we are three and a half minutes away from UNB completing a perfect season. You won't want to miss the end of this. You're watching U Sports on CBC. taste it three and a half minutes away from perfection UMB CBC Sports the home of university sports in Canada catch the gold medal game in the 2024 GFL U Sports Women's Hockey Championship presented by Connect Energy tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern 5 p.m. Pacific as the U of T Varsity Blues face off against the Concordia Stingers. Catch all the action on CBC Gem, cbcsports.ca, and the CBC Sports app. U Sports on CBC, chase the glory. As we see, the net is empty for the Patriot. Yeah, head coach, Naki Tianyudai, is right now with the board, getting ready to set up a play, six on five. It's a good decision to pull the goalie now with only three minutes and 24 seconds left. You got to get back in this game somehow. You can't wait. Might as well do it now sooner rather than later. Face off one by Wilms. They're able to get it out. No icing call. David Noel turns the corners behind his own net, takes it the other way. L'Italien, long pass deflected in. Lozon, it's cleared out successfully and La France will have to regroup. Three minutes to go, Simon La France to Lozon, Felix Lozon. La France skates it in, Felix La France. Drop pass, Noel shoots, misses wide. Simon La France turns it over, Petizian, it's an empty net. He's gonna shoot, he misses, oh no! The rebound from a bad angle also misses. You. With a chance to bury the game right there. Yuki Chiara though now with only two minutes and 23 seconds. Monroe Boucher takes it down the right side with speed. Drops it. Cornoyer's shot doesn't get through. Loose puck, Monroe Boucher couldn't finish. Now Morgan's got an empty net. He shoots off the post. And it's ruled an icing. Man. <laughs> Two opportunities as Morgan with his head down. Can't believe he couldn't bury that one. Tizian can't believe he couldn't bury the first one. I mean, you're still up three goals, but certainly just don't want to keep giving UQTR opportunities to get back in this game. As now the defenders, if you win this face off, you just got to send it to the net. Hopefully have four guys around that area. Frenette chases it down, throws, blocked by Morgan! Huge block by Morgan there, as that puck was headed towards the net. Lozon, Felix LaFrance, backhands it ahead. McGinley's the first one to the puck. Hammer flips it up into the air. Keating swats it down. A minute 40 to go. La France sends it in. Char doesn't play it. Felix La France cycles it around. Simon La France on the near side sends it back towards the net. And Gilmore gets it. Gilmore's pass. Morgan, he's got a chance again. Backhands it. Knocked down by the Patriot. 
Then that gets deflected out of play with a minute 16 to go. Well, Curtis, you can hear the UMB Reds fans soaring here in the arena. Coach Gardner McDougall caught talking to the media that when you get a UMB chant in an opponent's rink up in Toronto, that out volumes the hometown, that's pretty significant for our group. That was after their win against TMU. Now certainly much louder than the UQTR Patriots fans here. Timeout called by the Patriot. They need something desperately right now, Matt. I mean, it's it's hard for me to just keep standing here and tell people what the Patriots should be doing because they've tried. It's just been so frustrating because this UMB group is so good defensively, whether it's they're putting their body on the line. If you take a look, replay. And let's take a look here at the hits throughout the game. Curtis, you mentioned you didn't think it was physical enough in the first period. Well, they certainly brought it in the second and in the third as things began to get chippy. As you can see with Wallet and Kammerer. But people were throwing the body around. And you have to hear the national championship. set the tone off. We thought it was going to be all passing and skills, but very much turned to grit and aggressive physical play. Face off one by Lozon. Landry takes it, intercepts the pass, just dumps it in. Felix Lafrance to Simon Lafrance. Long pass. Pops over the stick of Frenet. That's a weird angle. Bouncing in front. They can't get anything. Frenet turns, fires, blocked by Nole. Into the far corner. Final minute, the crowd going loud. Simon Lafrance takes it on the near side. Lozon, Landry, jams it into the corner. Nurse will get it, fire it away, empty net, it's a goal! Isaac Nurse ices the game! UMB Kerr, look at Isaac Nurse. Fired up, he's got no helmet on. And the fans going, like you said it, Curtis. I will ice this game. And the UNB Reds will win their 10th national championship. Coach McDougal's ninth as the boss here for this program. It's amazing to witness this, Curtis. You can see Nurse firing up the fans. Lost his helmet. There's a water bottle on the ice. You can see the Reds in the tunnel <laughs> getting ready to celebrate. What an atmosphere right now. Feels like a UNB home game. McGinley waits behind his own net. 20 seconds remain. Remember, this is a feat that hasn't been done since in 51 years. UNB will go down as perhaps the greatest team ever. It's perfection in 2024 for the Reds. They are your 2024 University Cup champions. And you've said it. They use the word perhaps. Let me tell you, Curtis, it's a fact. The UNB Reds, the 2024 UNB Reds, will go down as the greatest U Sports team to ever play. 47 games undefeated. 376 days consecutive, they haven't lost a game. Nobody in all the sports across hockey has ever accomplished this feat. What a season for this team. What a special group of players. And for UQTR, it's their third medal in three years. But unfortunately for them, it's not the color they're hoping for. Absolutely not. 
remember the 2024 Queen's Cup champions as well, but Curtis, this is the one that every U Sports team wants the most, and that is the national championship. Fortunately for them, they couldn't get it. They go home with silver. Still a great medal to take home for this program. But they'll be back, Curtis. This team is too good. This program is too good. And they will be here once again. No well, doubt they, about it. They matched up in the semis last year and the final this year. Might be the beginning of a beautiful rivalry between these two schools. But unfortunately for UQTR, right now it's UNB's time. And absolutely, I mean, well deserved. A fairy tale type of season. Forty-seven games, Curtis. As the fans appreciating this type of historic season, and what a crowd the UNB Reds fans have brought! Incredible fans traveling with the team. Such a long distance to get here, and uh, I mean, it's well worth it for them, probably. I mean, you meant you, you look at college football at teams like Georgia, Alabama, LSU for a little bit, you know. When they start dominating and winning these bowls and these national championships, they attract talent, and it's no different here for the UMB Reds. They have built themselves as a dynasty, as the greatest team to ever play, and they will certainly keep attracting the top talent at a junior every year. And the question is, when will this end? When will this dynasty end for these Reds? It might be for a long time. They're eventually going to lose, of course. We know that. They can't, keep, they can't be undefeated forever. But how many times more will they be in this position to win national championships? Well, it's certainly two in a row for them. And he said 376 days since they last lost. It's going to be a whole lot more because the summer's about to hit. <laughs> summer's about to hit, obviously. And this team is still young, Curtis. Very young. They have a lot of juniors on this team. And then you go out and win a national championship. So things can only go up. Well, it's going to be hard to replicate this you season. You literally can't go <laughs> up. I don't know if you can go up. You can only go right. down from here, but... Of course, an incredible game for UNB. An incredible season for the players. This is great for Coach Gardner McDougal. Now his ninth UNB championship win out of ten. I mean, he's completely turned around this program, Curtis. And look at this. It's his 17th U Cup appearance. That's good for a record. His ninth consecutive U Cup appearance. That's good for second. Paul Arsenal holds the record at 10. It's his 45th career U Cup game coach. That's a record. He has 36 career U Cup coaching wins. He extends his record, which second place is only at 30. Coach McDougal, maybe the best U Sports coach in history as well. As you can hear, Cody Morgan being interviewed by one of our in-game hosts, Abigail Dove. And the players will congratulate themselves in a hard-fought battle. It might have been 4 nothing, but man, the UQTR Patriots, they played extremely well, Curtis. Obviously unhappy with And we goal. are standing by now with Cody Morgan, the player of the game in the U Cup Finals. Cody, congratulations. Cody, your fans travel very well. What's this experience been like for you? Oh, it's been so special. I mean, such a special group of guys. We work so hard every day. It's it's a grind, but you know, at the end of the day, this is all uh, worth it for sure. Cody, anything you want to say to the fans at home that are watching on TV? Oh, <laughs> Irene's coming back, baby. That's all I got to say. We're so excited to celebrate with all the fans, so. I can't wait to get back. Thank you, Cody. Congrats. Thank you, Mateo and Cody. Thanks, Mateo. I don't think he was supposed to give the interview, but a great interview on the fly. And like you mentioned, Cody Morgan. Yeah, Mateo does it all behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. And like you said, very appreciative that these fans made the trip to Toronto, filled this stadium. Well, one of the top moments of the tournament for me personally was 
watching them. They were against, you know, the home team TMU. They kind of got into a chanting war between the two teams. They were chanting UNB, UNB, and the noise level pretty even, honestly. That's how much they filled out. Of course, I mean, you're in the TMU Bolt Arena. This stadium should be packed with TMU Bolt fans. But it was 50-50 split down the line with UNB and TMU. It just goes to show how passionate this fan base is for this Reds team. Well, now we are going to throw it to our PA announcers for the medal presentation. Players of the game. Des Patriotes. Le numéro 24, number 24, Felix Lozon. Et voici John Richard de UNB. Le joueur du match des Reds, le numéro 13. Number 13, Cody Morgan. Maintenant, accueillons Mark Alfano pour présenter nos étoiles du tournoi. And now please welcome Mark Alfano of U Sports to present our player of the tournament All-Star. Nous commençons avec les avants de l'UQTR, le numéro 13, Simon La France. Of UQTR, number 13, Simon La France. De l'UNB, le numéro 19. Number 19, Brady Gilmore. Et de l'UNB, le numéro 9. Number 9, Austin Keaton. Maintenant, les défenseurs de McGill, le numéro 6. Number 6, Scott Wolford. Et de l'UNB, le numéro 20. Number 20, Cal McCallum. Et le gardien étoile du tournoi de l'UNB, le numéro 33. Number 33, Samuel Richard. Et maintenant, pour la présentation du prix Danny McLeod pour le meilleur joueur du tournoi. And now for the Danny McLeod Award presentation and the tournament envy, please. De l'UNB, le numéro 19. Number 20, Brady Gilmore. Et maintenant, la présentation des médailles d'argent pour les Patriotes. Le numéro 1, number 1, William Grimard. Le numéro 3, 
Number three, Kaelin Gauthier. Le numéro 4, number 4, Maverick Gauthier. Le numéro 5, number 5, Jordan Lapage. Le numéro 9, number 9, Pierre-Olivier Roy. Le numéro 11, number 11, Samuel Letalian. Le numéro 13, number 13, Simon La France. Le numéro 16, number 16, William Villiers. Le numéro 17, number 17, Jeremy Martin. Le numéro 19, number 19, Zachary Gravel. Le numéro 20, number 20, Yoris Rafano Mazenzoa. Le numéro 21, number 21, David Noel. Le numéro 24, number 24, Felix Lozon. Le numéro 27, number 27, Anthony Marco Boucher. Le numéro 31, number 31, Charles Antoine Laval. Le numéro 47, number 47, Edward Cornoyer. Le numéro 61, number 61, Connor Frenette. Le numéro 67, number 67, Ludovic Soucy. Le numéro 66, number 70, Jonathan Brisson. Le numéro 71, number 71, Félix Lafrance. Le numéro 76, number 76, Hugo Allen. Le numéro 80, number 80, Alexis Gravel. Le numéro 86, number 86, Vincent Milo Houlet. Le numéro 89, number 89, Charles Bolton. Et le numéro 91, à number 91, William Dumoulin. Et maintenant, la présentation des médailles d'or. And now, the gold medal presentations. Vos champions, les Reds de l'Université du Nouveau-Brunswick. Le numéro 8, number 8, Adam McCormack. Le numéro 9, Number nine, Austin Keating. Le numéro 10, number 10, Patrick Kite. Le numéro 12, number 12, Benjamin Corbett. Le numéro 13, number 13, Cody Morgan. Le numéro 18, Number 18, Jason Wells. Le numéro 19. Number 19, Brady Gilmore. Le numéro 20. Number 20, Kale McCallum. Le numéro 21. Number 21, Colton Kemmer. Le numéro 22. Number 22, Sean Maker. Le numéro 23. Number 23, McCauley Carson. Le numéro 24. 
Number 24, Nick Boyden. Le numéro 28. Number 26, Karen Baker. Le numéro 28. Number 28, Sam McKinley. Le numéro 31. Number 31, Tanner Summers. Le numéro 33. Number 33, Samuel Richard. Le numéro 34. Number 34, Griffin Outhouse. Le numéro 39. Number 39, Emmett Sproul. Le numéro 42. Number 42, Cole McKay. Le numéro 53. Number 53, Cade Landry. Le numéro 71. Number 71, Michael Petitian. Le numéro 67. Uh, number 77, Nicolas Savoie. Le numéro 88. Number 88, Isaac Nurse. Le numéro 89. Number 89, Sam King. Et le numéro 95. And uh, number 95, Justin Nolan. Nous demandons maintenant au capitaine des Reds de s'avancer pour recevoir le bannière de U-Sport ainsi que le trophée du championnat. Will the captain of the UNB Reds, Jason Wilms, please come to center ice to collect the U-Sports banner and trophy. Vos champions 22, 23, 24, les champions nationaux, les Reds de l'Université du Nouveau-Brunswick. Fans, your 2023, 2024 national champions, the University of New Brunswick Reds. Nous vous remercions de votre appui du U-Sport et de la Coupe U 2024 et nous vous souhaitons un bon retour à la maison. We thank you for supporting the 2024 University Sports U Cup. Fans, please have a safe trip home. Good night. Well, we're just going to let them enjoy their moment. Congratulations to the UNB Reds on winning the 2024 University Cup. Absolutely, Curtis. Congrats to something that will, will most likely never happen again. We don't know. It will be very tough to do so, but it's special for me and you to stand here and be able to call this game and witness history as it unfolds from our eyes. Yeah, the team taking their moments with the trophy as we get ready to throw it to the highlights of this game because UNB sure deserves their time with 
Absolutely. With I mean, the trophy. They had a lot of good plays in this game, absolutely, from both teams, UQTR as well. But the highlights of the game, the game story for UMB, for me, Curtis, as we see Keating to start off the backhand pass right to Gilmore, Just opening frame, one nothing, And for me, it was this forecheck and this defensive play for UMB. Six defenders throughout the lineup who can stop your offensive pressure at any time. They're forecheck, forcing teams to turn over the puck. We've seen what it has done throughout this tournament against Brock TMU and now UQTR and the pretty passing plays by that line with Austin Keene. I mean, Doug Gilmore, anyone, it could have been Gilmore, it could have been Keene, the player of the game, well-deserved for either one of them. And this team is just so dangerous, Curtis, from the fourth line to the first line, third deep pairing to the first deep pairing. Alexi anyone can score, anyone can play defense. Yeah, and Alexi Gravel had to make some great saves, but also Samuel... Richard also had a very strong game, his biggest workload of the tournament. I mean, people underlook Samuel Richard because of how good this UMB team is, but it's well-deserved. I mean, not to let a goal in. He could have let goals in. They still maybe would have won this championship, but the shutout streak stays alive, and it'll be alive into next season. A well-deserved goalie of the tournament prize, but for Gravel, he very much was a finalist in those talks for sure keeping these UQTR pads in a lot of close games, as you saw, versus McGill at Moncton. And UQTR, like I said, they are they are going to be back here as we look at the celebration. The helmets, the sticks, the gloves, all soaring in the air as they crash their goaltender, Richard. Great sight to see. And seeing the fans be able to celebrate with them. They must be very pleased with this. You see them all up against the glass now. I mean, nobody has really left the building on the UMB side. The fans are still here cheering on their team. A dedicated fan base so passionate about these UMB Reds. I mean, they made the trip, filled the stadium. Like you said, they were louder than the TMU fans here on TMU ice. And that's hard to do as an away team, but... It was great for them and great for the fan base to show up. And it's like playing a home game and it translates to the play on ice. And UMB very much was noticing that throughout this game. For sure, as we take a look at this final stats from this game, not a lot of penalties called. But no, not very much. I mean, I wouldn't want this game to be decided on the power play if I was the referees. UQTR certainly had their chances with the three power plays. But again, that UMB PK has been so good all season. And, you know, UQTR had a good second. They kind of lost track of their game in the third period as UMB was just keeping them in their own zone. As we are going to take a look at the scoring summary of the game. And, of course, UMB four goals, and it was Keating and Nurse in that third period. Keating with that beautiful goal behind the net, shooting it on the backhand, and Nurse the empty netter. It was a great game all around for the UMB Reds. Absolutely, and they have earned the right to celebrate as national champions for 2024. It's gonna be hard to replicate this success. First team in 51 years to do it, perfect. First team ever to play 30-plus games and go undefeated and win a national championship. So absolutely the best team in U sports history, in my opinion. I think a lot of people would agree with me. Most successful, to say the least, as we take a look now at the tournament MVP, Brady Gilmore. Brady Gilmore, what a season he's had. 41 points, showing up big when it matters. Seven points in the national tournament. Just the one goal, but the six assists. He has been playing superb and you know the last thing i'll say curtis on behalf of myself you dylan david damien and and griffin we would like to thank cbc for giving us the opportunity but most importantly thank our bold live production crew in the studio about 10 steps to my left nothing none of this would have happened without them by the way all students running this production so you know when job hiring comes around with tsn sportsnet you got a lot of guys in there who would be just fine for a job. Yeah, and to our production crew, Ben, Tenen, Griffin, Casey, Brooke, Daniel, Juliana, Zoe, Lucas, Mateo, all our volunteers that came out, all the athletes who played, and on behalf of our fellow broadcasters, 
Griffin, Damian, David, Dylan, and of course Matt here. This is Curtis Coleman thanking you for joining us for the 2024 U Sports Men's Hockey Championship on CBC. CBC presented by the Championnat du Sport à Radio Canada, une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada, Nike, just do it, Fettner, Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program, Pierre Partenaire des Prix de l'Entraîneur de l'année U Sport, Veraburn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979, Partenaire du Sport Universitaire depuis 1979, Baron, exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusif des bagues des championnats U Sports. 